Ariana had been separated from the group doing some personal uh, studies and research and helping and things. Uh, but the rest of the party had gotten back together after a wild evening of poison, clouds, and murder. Of course, you know who was at the center of murder? Our party. And now they are gathered in a room with Dracios, Alitos, the corpse of Eurymedes, and they've just cast Speak with the Dead. Sounds like a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> we had one of those last time, too. Yep. <laughs> As the spell takes hold, your middies eyes open. And you hear what sounds like a draw of breath, but there's no movement in the body. The Mistress from the temple looks over at Dracios. What do you want to ask him? Dracios looks around the room, his eyes settling on each one of you. I want to know what happened at the stadium. So she asks the question. There's a moment of thought. The gods fought and destroyed everything. I failed in my job. I failed to protect everyone. Dracios immediately comes back with, how did you fail? I didn't stop magic. I failed to see the threat. Track is going to look around at all of you with this quizzical look on his face. Seeing no response, I'll look back to the sun. What threat did you fail to see? There was a hole in the anti-magic fields. Because we couldn't cover enough area, we had to walk around the top of the stadium. And this led to openings. Dracios again is going to look around at all of you, specifically at Ptolemais. Well, that sort of explains it. Anything, Ptolemais? There was an artifact that was hidden in one of the pillars. Um, rather sizable black sphere with a fingerprint on it, large enough to potentially mimic the gods. Dracus is going to kind of lean in a little bit. How did you find it? It's a little bit of a long story for all of you. Right now, if you wanted to finish asking your questions first, started all the way back in Melitus, actually. He'll turn back to Eurymedes. 
How did you miss the threat? He made me overlook it. Trakios again is going to look around the room. Anyone? He? I wouldn't know what that means. He's going to kind of lean back and cross his arms. Look to Elitus. We only have one question left. I know what I want to know. But I want to give opportunity so that my son's life and his loss of it means something. You, and he's looking at the group, mentioned the games might be a threat. You mentioned the possibility of someone or something or someone's being responsible. Is it one of you? One of us that I was actually wondering whether or not it was one of the mages that give away the information. There was no way the assailant would understand that there were gaps in the anti-magic field. Unless the people who casted the field gave the information away. None of us knew that. We all had assumed that there were no gaps, and we we are in our amongst ourselves were figuring out how we would be able to help in any way if half the party was not able to cast their spells. Thank you. He's going to put his hands on Eurymedes' shoulder. How did you die? I was killed in self-defense because the follower of the true creator made me fight them. And with that, his eyes close. I'm sorry, what was that last part? The follower of the true creator. That is what he said. Out of character have I ever heard true creator. Uh, yeah, I had done some it. reading on the old guides with that. Or the old gods. So would that ring me close for me as well? I would say, Ptolemaeus, if you want to run an arcana or religion, either one would fit. Okay. That's a 16. Okay. Not exactly expressed in those terms, but you are familiar with the mythos of the Nyx.
And Vara, you of course have the knowledge you have studied. You're frozen, Tam. Oh, you're back. I was a moment ago. And then I wasn't, and now I am. And I'm going to just blow my camera up shortly. So I've given up. Nobody needs to see me. They're here for you. I'm just a voice. <laughs> and we will just go with that. Vara, you made some, you, you had some readings with all of this. Is this indication that we have direct opposition against the gods, these new gods? Um, I, I, I don't want to make any quick assumptions. Um, we still have pretty, uh, I don't know. There's a lot to think about and a lot to discuss and, um, maybe we can discuss it later with, um, with the leaders. As much as this pains me to say in another time, I feel, I feel Drakios needs to be there as well. Oh, we all you can be believe there. I will be. Regardless of whatever oppositions we've had before, we stand on a united front now. We have to. For a threat like this. Trachius is going to stand up and look you dead in the eyes, Ptolemaeus, with a very displeased look, to say the least. Now is not the time. We can hold this conversation later. For now, I thank you all. Please return back to the dwelling. We will be there after we have seen to my son's body. Yeah, for once, uh, Ptolemaeus is not going to say anything. I'm just going to walk out. For one time. Alidus is going to stand up and kind of, uh, noticing that you're not talking, he's going to quickly try and usher you out the door. <laughs> well, there's an opportunity. What are the rest of you going to do? Agrius will follow us here. <laughs> Drastos doesn't have anything holding him here. He'll just follow them out. Yep. As you make your way out, uh, the priestess puts her hand on you as you go to leave, Vara, to stop you from leaving. Would you stay with me and Help me with the sending of my son. Oh, um, yes, what an honor. And with that, Drakios will say a few words to his son quietly, and then he leaves the room. The priestess kneels takes out a coin and hands one to you and takes another. And she places her coin on her son's heart and places his hand over and recites a prayer. When she's done, she stands up, takes your hand, Vara. Athrios wants you to know that he is pleased and he is granting you the ability to grant respite. Oh. 
that's that's wonderful. Um, sure. And with that, she will let go of your hands and turn to walk away. I will cast gentle repose. All right. I assume on the body. Yes. Just, yeah. <laughs> just on me. Yeah, just, yeah. just a little facelift. Hey, yes. I can do it. I'm just going to cast it at random. <laughs> <laughs> You get you get a repose and you get a repose and you get a repose. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So um as a group, are you making your way back to Samath and Thekris? Okay. Well, this is a good time to pick up with Ariana. Ariana, you had been out and you said you had two goals. One, you wanted to help people, you could. And two, you were looking for some math and factory. And as you are touring the places where they're aiding people, infirmaries, triage stations, everything, you eventually come upon some math. She's kneeling beside a bed and she appears to be crying. The figure on the bed is covered head to toe, in a sheet. She's going to walk up behind Samat and just gently put a hand on her back and stand there with her. And it takes her several minutes before she responds. Does she look up? Ariana. She was in the stands. I stepped away. They say she burned for forever. This and then it rained and she burned more. She is at peace now. Um, I'll make sure to bring my friend Vara by to send her off. Thank you. Um, you and your, are you all your right? friends are welcome to stay as long as they need. Thank you. I'm, I'm going home to Satessa. Okay. Um, make sure you're right when you get there. Are you, do you have traveling companions? I know, but I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. The roads are quite dangerous, Matt. I I would feel better if you at least went with a caravan or some kind of companions. She's going to put a, her hand on your forearm. We were in the middle of a city. We were we were in a stadium, surrounded by people. And you would have thought we were safe. Yeah. I'll, I'll take my chances on the road. Okay. Just gonna pull her into a big motherly bear hug. Just squeeze her <laughs> for a while. And she'll, she'll return the hug and, and you're gonna end up with a very wet shoulder as she cries on your shoulder for a bit. Yeah. Do you want to? But eventually. Yeah. <laughs> you want to head back then? I'm not going back. Okay. Do you need me to get anything for you? 
No, there's nothing there. What matters to me is... She looks down at the bed. There's nothing there. She'll give her another shoulder squeeze and an empowering nod, although she doesn't feel terribly empowered, <laughs> uh, and take her leave. Okay. Are you going to head back to the apartment at this point, or continue? Yeah, she, she's gonna. She'll she'll probably take a bit of a detour past the where the ta where the uh, statue of Eros was. Okay. And have a slow contemplative moment, and then do the equivalent of walking home with her hands in her pockets in the rain. Even right. though she doesn't have pockets, a little cloud, a little cloud <laughs> yes. forms over you and follows you exactly. All the way back. Just walks, yeah. Music for the end of Hulk. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> I was thinking Michael Sarah from uh, the whatever show that was, uh, uh, Arrested Development. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Right. But yes, she will make her way back to the. To the apartments. So Ariana's time will obviously take a little over a day. We've just compressed a lot of it down. Yeah. But you all arrive back at the apartment at amazingly the same time because I'm a lazy DM. <laughs> Miraculous. <laughs> and oh, um, I assume you make you're... your way upstairs. Dracios and Elitus will be going with you. Hmm. Uh, Ariana, you're back. As are you, you're all... all right? For the most part. Tam, do you think yes. that Adrastos has spent enough time with Ariana to know that something's... something new is wrong? I will leave that between the two of you, but I think so. <laughs> okay. So, I, um, I would... I would agree. <laughs> Adrastos is going to walk up to Ariana and, uh, put a hand on her shoulder and just look her in the eyes with that like that very pointed what do you need <laughs> uh she'll kind of pat your hand and with a with that look of like i'm okay we just got to get through this but just a a, a sort okay. of pat and squeeze back and not um give the shoulder sweet it's good to see you ariana it's good to see you as well. I'm glad you're you're all right and you're all <laughs> right. Yes, as well as I can be. <laughs> you're sure. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I do, just need some. Do you water. still have Do you still have the tear stains on your fur? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> concern, concern, concern. But there's people here that need to be dealt with. Dracios, and <laughs> if you guys are with Dracios yeah. and El Elitus, then things are going down so as that so. that conversation happens i'll just be like i like i said for, for the most part well yeah look around at everyone looking a little <laughs> under the weather in different ways <laughs> uh -huh. um dracius elitus good to see that you made it into the city yes thank you elitus will go yeah thanks Dracos is going to turn to Elitus. It's been a long journey. Is there any food? Uh, yes, please come in. Um, uh, Samat will be leaving the city, so we have uh, we have the place as long as we need it. Who, who is Samat? Um, the owner of the house, Dectri, will not be returning. Uh, Vara, I may ask your assistance later when we have a moment uh, please come in though Elitus why don't you and Prime go see what you can find for food Elitus will look at him kind of sideways um, okay <laughs> Ariana you know you know this 
place, would you mind? Uh, of course. She'll lead them into the kitchen and start finding stuff. As soon as the three of them are his face downstairs. <laughs> Sorry, Agrius. Sorry, Agrius, what was that? I said Agrius will shuffle out of the way. He's been stuffing his face this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he has like a bag of something or a jar or something, she'll like take it, leave him one, and continue into the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they're downstairs and out of view, out of your shot, Dracios is going to turn to Ptolemaeus. Okay, so what did you find? How did you find it? On the raven attack in Bellatus, there was one particular figure seemingly looking up into the sky, not where the birds were. They were looking when the sun came up the other way. He was wearing a black cloak and was one of the palest figures I've ever seen in my life. I thought I caught a glimpse of him through the parade, all the way here, and a member of us saw him in the stadium, the other side of the, the, the Colosseum from us. When we reached to where they, that particular figure was, the figure was no longer there, but that artifact was, and of the three people that were there, I was blasted out, out of the Colosseum, the other two buried in the rubble. Describe this artifact. A jet black sphere with a silvery footprint, uh, fingerprint stamped right on top of it. And he is going to conjure a small orb, which unfortunately you can't see because my camera died. <laughs> Well, you, you made the prop, so uh, I'm going to assume that that's, that's the correct one. <laughs> and he'll go, and a, and a fingerprint on it. Exactly. And what about it? That's where the explosion took place. It's when the fire that could not be put out arrived. And in that chaos, we had rain from the gods. It made the fire grow even more. But, but wait, wait, where did you find the artifact? I want to understand how you found this. Where the hooded figure was. In the stands. The hooded figure had it? No, the hooded figure left it. Are the rest of us around Columbus, still? This is. I'm sorry, Var. Are the rest of us around still, or? Um... Uh, of course, unless you left yeah. the room, absolutely. Uh, we found a, another one as well, also associated with this figure, that caused a cloud of smoke. Almost poison gas, this? more so. Um, just this past night, we were in pursuit of them. That we saw them near the house. Um, we followed them onto the rooftops, but um, they seem to have ran up the wall and, and teleported somehow, I think. With they hooved? Is that what their prints were? Um, yes, and, they uh, were hooved. Adrastus cut some kind of scent on them, right? Meyerlands. And so we pursued them, but they disappeared, and, and soon after they seemingly teleported away, certainly not flight, or uh, I would have seen them um, using my telescope. Um, we found a black version of this orb, still the same fingerprint, and when we touched it, it began to hum and and eventually turned into a gaseous fog of, of nasty stuff. It's like some god or high-level spellcaster is, is imbuing these orbs and then, I guess, giving them to their followers. So rather than the 
theory that um, there are people impersonating the gods, rather these are worshippers that are going to these events on behalf of their god and, and using these orbs to create the chaos that this god desires. Last question you asked your remedies would support that. One moment. Thank you for your input, Mara. Ptolemaeus, how did you find the artifact? I saw it the same way they probably saw it on there as well, on the rooftops. There are no rooftops in the stadium. Ptolemaeus, this is why I don't like to debate with you. You cannot stay focused. You do not put facts. You wander. Put your mind in one place. And describe to me how and where you found this. If you want absolute specifics, it was in the stands, in a crack in the pillar. But it wasn't, it was exactly where the hooded figure was before they left. We were on the other side of the stadium, and we had a little bit of time to have to walk to there, over. And by the time we walked over, the hooded figure was gone, and around the area was a small glint of that fingerprint. And that was where I found the sphere in the stands in the in a crack in a pillar in the crack in a pillar did anyone else see this crack i'll turn to vara and tikaros just you saw me reaching yeah. for it right that's exactly like he said i believe we so. saw it too there's quite a bit of chaos in, but i think so in this crack, what did it look like? The player doesn't remember if there is anything specific <laughs> about the crack that I need to remember, <laughs> besides the fact that it was very gaping and, and dark inside. <laughs> okay. Um, it was described at the time as a crack like you might find in old masonry work. Uh, but it did appear very dark and deep into the pillar. The, the crack seemed to be pretty old, but the depth of it almost seemed as, as though the, the pillar was hollowed out of something, or at least there was enough of a depth to it. The crack was deep. And you say you grabbed this thing out because you saw the fingerprint on it. Yes. And then what happened? And then it glowed, the fingerprint, and it hummed. So did it appear to be anvil rot? I don't, um, that's another player thing. Does, does it look like any other anvil rot thing? If, if it, that, that we've known, because it doesn't I would look... say no, no, it doesn't. And Vara, if you could compare to the one you've seen, it would not either. There doesn't seem to be any mechanisms or anything. It's just a sphere, a black sphere. I, I truly do believe that it's, it's some kind of, I, I mean, like um, uh, certain casters can imbue stones with with lower level spells. I, I do think it's some kind of magic work, potentially mm. by an old god. I mean, are there any gods associated with fingerprints? I, I've looked, but you may. Jackie also just kind of. Ptolemaeus, 
Think very carefully. How large was this crack? How large was this orb? The orb was around the size that you conjured, about the size. It was, as they said, chaotic enough for me to not notice too much. But the orb is as you conjured, and the crack was enough for the orb to be within it. I didn't reach any further than that, but it did look deep. I'm just trying to understand that, yes, maybe there were gaps as they were marching around, but they wouldn't have been large gaps. So anything that the field crossed over, the magic would have been dispelled. So how did it make it? Which is why I feel as if the timing of it was too coincidental, that someone knew that there were gaps in the magic field. Visually, none of us could discern anything about the, the fields having gaps. I don't know if there is any sort of higher level magics that could allow someone to understand quite this undertaking to be able to time it well i understand much of the stadium was damaged where you were do you know if the column the pillar still stands i've not i've not gone to check Thank you. Um, let the leaders know I, I had to step out. I'll be back in a bit. And with that, he hurriedly makes his way out. Should we follow him? Oh, most definitely. definitely. He knows something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's following? Uh, Varl would be interested in going, yeah. Okay, three. Since you're going stealthily, uh, Agrios, are you going? <laughs> Trastos? That is primarily why I'm not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're going stealthily, I probably shouldn't come as much as I'd like to. Why don't you just follow at a distance? <gasps> Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, give me stealth checks. <laughs> right. Am, am I and even stealthy? Wait, hold just, on. <laughs> here's the best part. Here's the best. With advantage. Oh, oh. nice. Okay. Hey. Ariana, if you would yeah. might have caught some of this conversation. So it's up to you. If you, I see the look in your eye. I don't know if you're wanting to tag along or not. <laughs> no, I was checking what skills I have to uh, make lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm staying with Ariana. Um, cool. So we'll make lunch can, together. Can 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 awesome. I roll performance? I'm sorry. I don't have. My, now my headphones cutting out. <laughs> of course, oh, no. it could also be my mic. Um, uh, yeah. survival for a good old barbecue. Ooh, <laughs> there you survival? go. Survival, fantastic. And I would like to assist because I am trained. Yes, in please. That. So advantage on that. Wonderful. That's uh, plus one. <laughs> uh, that's a twelve. It is passable. <laughs> <laughs> Some stuff is way well, too saucy, and then some stuff just isn't saucy enough. <laughs> but you know, the thing is, you just need to talk it up. Exactly. You know, cheer, cheer your own work. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, I can do that. I'm good at that. <laughs> it's motivational food. It'll help you go. 
yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it may not taste the best, but it's like packed full of protein. <laughs> All right. Uh, for those of you following, Dracios heads directly to the stadium and directly to the part that is collapsed. And then while standing in the area, he makes some gestures with his hands. Uh, did you need to know our stealth rolls? Yes. I'm sorry. I forgot to ask. I got so tied up on the food. You got distracted by lunch. Sorry. Uh, I am hungry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a 19. All right. 11. Everyone? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Not All too right. bad. Not 22. Oh. All right. Shush. Agrios? Se seven. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to have to roll. But now he was I have further away, right? He was further he was, away. He was further back. I was further away. I think I think we average out, right? We got two <laughs> upper twenties. I kept and... a little distance. The problem with me rolling with advantage is that I have disadvantage, so it cancels out. So <laughs> what I rolled on my one roll was a seven. That's that's a good point. Yeah. It, right. Can he roll deception to <laughs> <laughs> roll intimidation? You don't see me. Well. You saw nothing. <laughs> uh, but I roll. I rolled for Dracios's attention, and I rolled a three. Nice. Wow. Nice. He's pretty focused. So, you know, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> he's focused. So anyway, he does this, and he's looking around for a few minutes, and he starts walking around the area, and then suddenly he stops and moves into a specific place and begins trying to move what looks like a very heavy rock. And he appears to be having trouble with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just... he, he, he appears frustrated and he begins looking around, almost like he's looking for something maybe to use as a lever to pry it. He seems very intent on moving this stone. All right, after after him struggling a little bit, I'll, I'll just kind of look around, just like, Sh should we help him? Yeah. No, it's funny. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yes, yes, but we kind of want to figure it out, figure out what he knows as well. Um, I mean, how well does he know me? Who, who is this again? This is um... Dracius. Dracius, right? The one you guys call rude. Yes. Quite rude. Um, uh, yeah, see, I kind of don't want to help him. Um, but if I, I could wild shape and assist him as an animal, maybe? I like this plan. Might be suspicious, but he may not know it's me. I don't know. It's better than, better than nothing. All right. Okay. So what are you going to wild shape into? And this will be the one time I allow the movie to rule and you can be an owlbear just for the fun of it. But no, so what would you like to turn into? <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready. Um... Sure, you're not going to get attacked because you're just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Why he would allow it. <laughs> I shall turn. I have like a little list of. of... I'm a pushover. You know that. Would a bear be too scary? <laughs> Not to me, but you know. I, would a bear wander into the village like this? Would that be weird? I feel like that would be weird. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I could. I guess. I see Vara literally, literally kind of going through her book of things to change into. Yes. Meanwhile, Dracios is over here with his back into the stone. <laughs> oh, because I can do bear. Um, what makes sense? I mean, Badger has burrow, but that quite wouldn't quite work. I don't think. Um, 
We need something big and cuddly. You have to look strong, but you also have to look really cute. I could be it. Can you be a capybara? I could be a mastiff. <laughs> oh. I think a mastiff would make sense. Mastiff. Like a doggy? Yeah. And I think they have like some knocking over abilities. Um. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and be a master. I think that'll I think that'll make sense. So I'll just be a little dog that wanders up. It was it was a good suggestion, Agrius. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. What was the suggestion? <laughs> Mysterious voice. He, he was going with Mandy special. Uh, become uh, a cow. A cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. Could do that. No, I'll be a big puppy. All right. Big old mastiff puppy. So tell me how this is going to work out as Drakios is putting his back into moving the stone. Um, I think I would go ahead and um, be, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and quietly change into dog. And then I'll just kind of wander upon the scene after a minute. Can I? Sniffing can I, I have to ask. I'm sorry, Agris. Oh, I was just going to ask. Can I can I help make sure that she can do this? Can I can I cast enhance ability on the dog? Absolutely. Oh, that would be excellent because mastiffs are somewhat strong, but not. All right. You now have full strength. You have advantage on strength checks, and your character carrying capacity doubles. Nice. Cool. So Vara, right. in the past, when you've wild shaped, you have stated that your animal shape or some re resemblance in some way to your original form so something sea like uh yes. what does this mastiff look like uh, water puppy yeah i think um i think its fur is almost kind of slicked a little wet um it has like webbed paws <coughs> um Sorry. And um, yeah, a bit, a bit, bit of a webbed paw, some, some wet fur, and then almost probably a, a bluish tint to the fur. All right. So you're a big blue dog. I am. <laughs> blue mastiffs blue are dogs. a thing. <laughs> All right. Cool. And I'll just kind of, I'll, I'll try to like, maybe double back a little bit and then so that way I'm not just like right up there and then I'll um because I don't want to if he gets suspicious I don't want to give away everyone else's position so I'll kind of find right. a different area to enter in and I'll just kind of be sniffing around as if I'm looking for food or something like that and as you come into the area where he's at he just kind of looks at <sighs> uh, he reaches into his pocket and takes out like a cracker or something and throws it down for you oh nice <laughs> i get to be a dog and i get a free food <laughs> um cool so i'll go ahead and wander over and, and sniff at the cracker and, and munch on it and bark at him excitedly but it's like almost like it great. sounds like it's like underwater <laughs> it's like a <laughs> <laughs> great while you're barking could you go get some help uh I will kind of like almost like a hunting dog, like do like one of those like points where I'm pointing at the rock and I like kind of cock my head and look at him quiz like quizzically. Yes, it's a big rock. I will... And I know you won't understand this, but there's something underneath it that I need to find. I will prance over to the rock and try to assist him in moving it. All right. Uh, give me a strength check. Cool. And I have. And don't forget advantage. you have enhance ability. Yes. Okay. I assume it was strength that you were enhancing. Yeah. Yes, it was. Let's see. That, let's see. That was a 10. <laughs> 11. <laughs> <laughs> Dog is not super <laughs> strong, but you know. <laughs> and that was with enhance ability, huh? Yeah, the Mastiff only has a plus one to strength, um, 
And I rolled a 10 and a 9, so 11. Okay, sorry. That's okay. He'll reach over and good try, good try. Um, I will attempt to go and find a person for him after I fail, I guess. Not one of our people, but just if I can go to um, one of the nearby houses and just park a bunch. <laughs> well, there's no near near nearby, so you'd have to go quite a ways to find something. But what is a it? Well, that is. is Dracula stuck in a well? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. This, is like of, a, this is like a Disney movie. I love it. I'll kind of like put my nose in his hand um, and do like a big sniff to kind of try to indicate that I, I will go get someone and then I'll run off and start barking. Wait, wait. wait. <sighs> Crap, I don't need a crowd. <sighs> he just watches you go off in the distance. Bark, bark, bark. Help, bark. <laughs> My friend, Park. There's need some of those big, strong idiots of illicitness. <sighs> he will go back to attempting to roll it out of the way. Savara, so if you are attempting to gain attention, you will definitely do so by running through the town barking. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll just go to the like I said I'll try to the nearest which of these structures so we're at the stadium right so you are at the stadium which side are so, we on the rubble side the rubble side yeah. okay so like one of these houses whichever one looks to be populated that's more of a temple type of thing but gotcha so where were the you nearest you might find some okay so. Perfect. This this is a housing type of thing. Okay. And over here you would find some housing. Okay. I'll go to the, the smaller one to try to attract not as many people. Okay. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. And uh, someone will come out of the house and what do you shut up, dog? Shut shut up. Ugh. I will I will point in the Shoot. direction of the stadium. Like say again. I will do my little dog point in the direction of the stadium and I just Oh great, the circus dog escaped. Oh Mark. she'll walk inside and come back out and throw a piece of meat over. Just quiet. Oh Go more away. food. Bark bark. I will refuse to eat it and I'll keep pointing. But I kind of look at what, it. Are you a vegetarian now and then? <laughs> Bark, bark, point. What? And she'll wipe her hands off on her apron and come over. What? I'll kind of start tucking on uh, their like clothes towards the stadium and keep like looking over to it. What? What is it? It's yes, the stadium collapsed. If there's somebody pinned, I'm the wrong person. And all this time being drugged behind you, I'm not the person to do this. Bark, bark. Okay, then I'll kind of cock my head and and kind of like whiz <laughs> bark <laughs> i i don't know what he they they've already dug through everything there's nobody there bark bark i will take the meat and move on to the next house <laughs> if they don't if they don't start coming with me <laughs> see, see, take, see i knew you just wanted food <laughs> damn dogs uh, I'll go bark at the next house with me in my mouth. So bark, 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 bark. <laughs> and then as I wait for someone to come out, I'll just start eating it. All right. There's going to be people out, but most of them are probably going to find you a bit annoying at this point with everything that's gone on. But let's see if you can find somebody. Roll me a persuasion. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to set your DC about 16. Let's see where you come in. That's fine. Um, well, the charisma, what, hold on. Charisma of a Mastiff is seven. <laughs> Aw, but they're cute. True. Um, I think that's wrong. I would, I would use 
all of the dogs um stats right yeah so this kind of rule uh i think your doesn't your charisma stay i thought it was just your top three that change yeah i feel like it's strength dex and con per beast i'm actually i'm actually good cool. either way whichever works in your benefits <laughs> how i like to do it Vara is a, a, a tad more charismatic than a dog. Um, yeah, Z, Z's jump, Z's jumping in and saying, "You keep your mental stats." Yeah, you know, I figured Z, Z, Z is a Z is a walking player's handbook. So. Yep, perfect. Okay, then I will go ahead and do first version. Sixteen. That is not bad. That's what you said, <laughs> and I did All it. Right. <laughs> Uh, your barking uh, attracts the attention of one of city guards. Nice. Oh well. Mm. <laughs> and who comes over and? Okay. What is it? Bark, bark. And I'll point uh, at the he, stadium. Little pieces of meat hanging from your. Yes. You've, you've obviously point. eaten. Point. <sighs> bark. Okay. Lead ahead. Yay! <laughs> Start prancing towards the stadium. Uh, they're going to be telling stories about this, a dog that comes to get the guard for something. I, I gleefully bark. All right, so he will follow you back around the rubble and see Dracios. I will go and take a seat by Dracios and, like, <laughs> look at him Probably. as if I'm, like, Okay, I did good. Pet, pet, please, pet. <laughs> I did good. Pets, please. <laughs> Your dog. Dracula, so look over. It's not my. You seem like a strong fellow. Uh, could you help me uh, shift this pillar? Guard's going to look at it. Why? Do you want to shift the pillow? I believe something of mine is um, stuck under it. It was lost uh, during the collapse. Or it's been looking, are, you, are you sure it's stuck under it? I mean... I'll go over and start scratching at it and whining. <laughs> your dog seems to agree. Dracula said, it's not my... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the two of them will get on this and start shoving it, and eventually they shift it. And the guard will look around and, uh, I don't see anything. What is it you were looking for? And Dracios will kind of look in and, ah, uh, I'm sorry. The, the, the dog told me it was here, and obviously it's it's mistaken. I, I'm sorry. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Stupid dog. And he will turn and start walking <laughs> away. <laughs> and as soon as the guard has walked away, Dracios walks over to the bottom of the pillar and begins to inspect what appears to be a crack in the bottom of it. I'll go sniff at it takes... with him. <laughs> Okay, uh, you are? Yeah, I'll go over there and start sniffing. All right. Uh, when you get close to it and you take a breath, uh, you get from, from this hole in there, you feel this cold air, much cooler than the air where you're at. And Dracios reaches down, grabs the side of it, and pulls the crack off of the pillar. Wow! <laughs> I bark. I'm like, I like. <laughs> yes. And so he is going to fold that up and place it inside a pouch. Oh. And he's going to look down at you and. Well, you better hurry ahead so we can pretend that I don't know who you are. Bark. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> and he is going to turn and start heading back to the apartment, which makes me ask, those of you who are hiding away stealthily, are you waiting around or are you heading back before he sees you? Most likely the latter than the former. Yeah, yeah. let's race him. 
If everyone else goes <laughs> back, I'll, I'll go with through the peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right. I'll, I'll so head back we as well and take a weird route. Oh, we're peers. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, you. <laughs> so eventually, uh, I assume you will make it back before Dracios, or are you going to keep an eye on him as you go? Hmm. We didn't, we, we haven't, we haven't, um, waited for Vara, so I would assume, I'd be like, hopefully Vara is still with him, because I saw saw Vara with him. Um, so I'll, I'll head back to the apartment first. Well, that's a good idea. He won't be looking for me. He'd be more likely looking for you, Tolly. So maybe, what if I be stealthy, and I keep an eye on him, and just make sure he doesn't do anything else sneaky. Sounds good. And that's what I'll do. Alright, very good. And the rest of you? Uh, that would be Agrios and Vara. I'm not sneaky, I'll go back. All right. And Vara, you said you were taking a circuitous route? Yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy being All a right. dog. I'll just kind of go and do my thing. All right. Tikaros, I'm going to assume because of your earlier role, you stay hidden well. Mm -hmm. And he's making his way back, and he, he, he goes a few feet, and he stops in front of Ethara's temple. And he almost looks like he's going to go in for a moment. And then he turns and heads back to the apartment. Interesting. You just keep following him sneakily. So he will make it back to the apartment and go inside. Okay. And once inside, he will tap Alitas on the shoulder and ask him to come upstairs. And he will also try to get Ptolemaeus' attention and get him to come upstairs. I'll follow. Now, the rest of you, it's not super hidden that he's doing this. They're obviously going upstairs, so it's up to you what you do. But he specifically invited those two. Endless. Um... <laughs> uh, Ariana's finishing up with food and stuff, so she's probably just gonna put food out. Okay. Once they get upstairs, <sighs> this is not public knowledge, and I'm afraid we didn't even inform you, Alitas, but an artifact was taken from Miletus over a week ago. And he is going to pull this thing out of the pouch and he is going to open it up and he is going to place it on a wall. And a crack appears in the wall. That looks familiar. Hmm. It is an artifact of Calyx. And it has been in storage. It is a hole in the world that you can place many things in. But it has one very interesting feature. When placed in an anti-magic field, it closes. And when the anti-magic field is gone, it reopens. Now, we've never tested it, but I presume if there was something magical inside, because it exists outside of our plane, that it may stay imbued with magic. Well, how many people know of this artifact? Not many. So that 
means regardless of whether or not there was a gap. Whoever did this knowingly did it because they had this. It definitely lends credence to the theory there's someone actively behind this. Well, we've lost trail of the person, of the figure in black. But is there anything else of Melitus, at least, that this per this figure could have potentially have? Well, depending on how he gained the information, anything. I can't imagine who would have shared this information. I mean... Myself, I didn't. I can see from the look on Alita's face that he didn't. Her Sophia wouldn't have. And I doubt Nyctos would have told anyone. So we should probably investigate. No. I think some of this investigation Elidus and I can handle. Niktos is due back in Melitus as he is going to be pro tem on the council. All right. Well, we do necessarily have another lead. And what is that? And Elidus is going to go, um, they work for me. What is that, Ptolemais? Amongst all of the happenings that Primes came to have found matching certain descriptions that you had mentioned when we were in the library, there were mentions of two things of the Myrlands and one of a missing village. And I found certain symbols that could seemingly tie the two together. With the fact that Adressus smelled uh, the Myrlands from one of these artifacts, We have reason to believe either or not we should check out what is happening there with the plague or go back to looking mm. for the missing village. Well, it would seem that either way you're headed the same direction. Yes. All right, then. Let's ask your group and see if they're willing to go look for this lost village of Tavi. I... Find out what we can there. And I hope your internal investigations bear fruit. Yes. Um, and he's going to, Dracos lifts his arm and whistles and his owl comes and lands on his arm. Um, I'll send my toy here with you, uh, but him, he won't work with you, Ptolemais. I figured as much. <laughs> oh, so you, you figured it out. I didn't figure out anything. I just understood that if he was your pet, he was probably not going to want to be anywhere near me. 
You, you take loss of a debate quite personally, don't you? No, I don't think so. I think more so that if I go around in circles, it's only to counteract when you are hiding something very obvious when you're talking hmm. with us. Interesting. No, Ptolemaeus, it isn't that I don't like you. I don't respect you. Well, that's a little bit better then. Well, there's a chance to earn that. Maybe. Anyway. Um, and Vara, have you made it back yet? Yeah, I'd right. say so by now. Anyway, uh, he doesn't like the Nyxborn. Apparently had um, a bad experience. So it's not personal, Ptolemaeus. He just doesn't respect your kind. That's rude. <laughs> yes, it is a bit, isn't it? And he <laughs> pets the owl. <laughs> I'd say uh, that's a little bit racist, but I don't think that's what I, what I am. A race of some sort. Um, but I understand. All right. Go find one of them, and you are going to answer to them. And he will let it fly off. End. We have uh, four non Nixborn, <laughs> and I just happen to have a dice with four sides. So let's see: Vara one, Ariana two, Agrios three, Adrastos four. It's a two. Ariana, an owl comes and perches on your shoulder. A mechanical owl. That is. Oh, hello again. I'm going to offer it a piece of meat. <laughs> and it'll just kind of turn its head. Mm, didn't and, think so. And it shakes its head. No. She'll eat it. And when you do that, it hops down and grabs another piece of meat and comes over and tries to put it in your mouth. <laughs> and it will. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Mm. You oh, have a new friend. Ariana, you've made a friend. Apparently. I will get you the stats on your new friend. A friend. And it can be used to carry messages back and forth. So Her friend. Fine feathered friend. Friends. <laughs> well, metal feathered, but yeah. So, very fine yeah, you know, feathers. <laughs> very fine feathers. The friend is fine, not right. the feathers. Exactly. Yes. All right, Alidus is going to come downstairs and hopefully bring everyone else with. Um, team, um, we've come up with a goal for you. We would like for you to go investigate the lost village of Tavi. We think that this might tie in with the Meyerlands and, well, it came up in the cross-reference, there must be something of interest there. Uh, Tavi? Like yes. A, look at Tigaros a bit. <laughs> well, you know, it's such a common name. It could be anything. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> and you said it's in the Meyerlands? It's it's on the edge. And I'm sorry, did we'll you call you it the lost city? Well, the village of vanished overnight. But you have a map to it. Well, we have a map to where it was. I mean, a village ah. can't disappear if it's not there. And if it's there, someone knows where it is. And maps don't van. It's not like it was erased from all of existence. 
All right. It would be interesting if it did, though. It would indeed. Well, why does it have that name? Who named it that? Well, I guess I did. It, it, it was called Tavi, and then it was lost, and then we had to document it. And... That is so creative. Well, thank you. And you kind I of mean... hear Prime. You hear Prime over there. And you, you can hear the jo neck joint as he shakes his head. <laughs> I suppose, uh, Tikaros, if you say Tavi is such a common name, uh, perhaps there are multiple cities of Tavi, and so thus we need to differentiate by the lost one. Wait a minute. What is it with Tavi in a village that has to do with you, Tikaros? I'm afraid I'm not aware of this. Oh, it's... Well, my husband's name was Tavi. Or is Tavi? Was Wait, Tavi? You were married. Are yeah. married. Oh. Yeah, my life partner. But I'm still looking for him. What? And he's going to sit down and start inquire. Well, what happened to him? Why aren't you together? <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Stop bothering me. And yeah, actually, look at her. She's actually got some little singe marks on her face still from being like, I just realized it's the same day sh that she got attacked <laughs> by Eurymedes. So she's got some little singe marks on her face and she smells like burnt hair and her little horns are a little bit blackened. She doesn't yeah. look very good. So she's going to start flagging and like, I really need to have a sleep. And he's gonna continue, as it. he does, he's going to continue to try and get details. But, uh, <laughs> I'll just be like, um, this, she probably needs rest. She was directly attacked when Eurymedes was, you know. Oh, oh. Are, are you down hit points, Tikaros? Yes, she is. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't, don't waste it. You guys will have a chance to long rest. Oh, don't waste it. I'm going to oh, rest. Okay. I'm going to rest. <laughs> for, for color purposes, uh, she will probably lay a hand and lay some points. No. All right. I guess, yeah, what I even some... say, if you're going to get a rest anyway, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. She'll, she'll throw some points on you and, and we'll make you up a little plate and send you to bed. <laughs> oh. So sweet. <laughs> So once everybody's settled and fed, Elidus is going to gather those of you who are awake. Um, so you need to prepare for this journey. Um, and he will take out a bag of coins. <sighs> Do you think 200 gold will uh, cover you for expenses? I, I didn't bring much more i'm sorry it's should, per should i personally fine. pack i personally pack light so it really depends on whether or not everybody else's armor needs ariana's doing math on like the per diem she normally charges for events <laughs> and like what mm -hmm. and what that looks like and average costs of living on the road and yeah is that that should be sufficient we're going to upgrade like, some armor and stuff. It, it, this, is, this is just for the travel to outfit you for the journey. I mean, please. That should be sufficient, yes. Good. <laughs> Pardon? Thank well, you. Get some rest. Um, tomorrow... Uh, will you be staying in town, Elitus? I was thinking I would stay here, uh, but... I was going to offer... Oh well, thank you. I, I assume I, I I assumed I I apologize. Uh, that it's a fair assumption. <laughs> it just means you feel home here, which is just a testament to Smat and Thectree's home building. And he, you'll hear him mumble under his breath. It also means I gave you my last two hundred gold. <laughs> So everyone get a good night's rest. And the next day you should be outfitting for your trip and the next day heading out on your journey, unless you have any other plans. So it is now, what do you want to do? 
I have a thing I want to do in the morning before we all leave. Okay. So I, I don't know if that is now, but. Anyone got any plans for the evening besides getting their long rest in? Um, I would like to try to read more on um, the Nyx um, okay. that was brought up. If uh, either, if I have some reading that I can go back over or if I mm. seek out a, a midnight trip to the library. Well, you, you have the materials that were brought to you by Prime, so that should be pretty exhaustive. If you have any specific questions, let me know and I'll see if I can answer them. Cool. Yeah, I would just want to know as much as I can um potentially well i can't just answer that now you know <laughs> <laughs> tell me everything it was the nix right because i know nix is yeah Nyx. okay and that's in reference to the realm of the gods everything yeah night bye yeah. um that's actually what was was what i was going to do um i wanted to uh actually i i could just do it in character um Tall Mace is go I'm just gonna go and, and head over to where Vara is. Um like a little bit before like we go to bed or or we need to could see her studying. And I'll just be like Um Vara, I have a quick question. Oh, yes. Do you have from all of the uh the readings that that Prime uh copied for you, is there anything that you would say that I could help? Kind of research with you, specifically the Nyx. Um. Well, uh, so we know that the Nyx would be. In, I mean, the Nyx is such a general thing. Um. Uh, if if you could remind me, what was said specifically about it? How was it involved? I mean. Well. Simply, if if we are looking at gods that are not the pantheon we currently have, the closest thing we have evidence-wise is the realm of the gods. Right. Um, so if there are any remnants of the old gods in, that, that reside in the Nyx, or if there's any other clues that we can get, Um, I don't know. Um, I don't believe, I, I guess, confirming that old gods live in the Nyx, I, I have not really known of that. I know there are Nyx born, um, and there's a couple different primary features of the Nyx in which the god, different gods reside um based on their preferences um I, I forgive me i i don't think i i described it correctly i didn't mean that there were old gods that lived in the nix i'm just meaning that if if there are any potential gaps between each god's realm that could possibly we, we could possibly have in, any more information on it any gaps, like a, a way to enter the Nyx, or, or a place where someone may be trying to enter themselves? Precisely. Mm -hmm. Or operate out of it. Um, well, I suppose there could be. Um, Yes, that would be interesting to look into. Um, I mean, there are... I think dreams are often reported to be one of the bigger gaps, right? Dreams are kind of a a gift from the gods, from Nyx, kind of during sleep, when the night sky is its most... I, I would assume at night is when things are most um, possible. Uh, well, um, well, we could look at the constellations, actually. That's such a great idea. Um, perhaps the stars will reveal a uh, 
a different map. Um, I, it was, was I present whenever um, it was postulated that Tali was a next born? No. No. Um, okay. Sorry that then. Uh, I don't know, perhaps we could go take a look at the sky. Um, your hair is from a different time, right? Five years, what was it, before or right. later? Um, so we could compare maps and see if there are any changes. I could look at, um, and she'll kind of shuffle through some different things that she has, and she has this kind of bound book that almost looks like a captain's log um, uh, that she carries with her. and. Uh, I've I've got some chartings as well, so I, um, the stars might have the answer. They've uh, never guided me wrong before, and Var will suddenly just start scrabbling to a rooftop somehow. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I'll just I'll just follow like kind of silently after after Var starts rambling on about the stars, kind of wondering whether or not I should mention anything, but never actually do for a bit. I still want to repeat a phrase here, but I have two people from Texas, and we are obligated to complete the phrase if I start it. So. <laughs> the stars, the stars at, at night, night are big and big bright, and bright. <laughs> deep in the heart of their rose. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I totally knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better get it straight, or we're going to have to kick you out of the state <laughs> Booch out. anyway uh, i'm sure you're not the only one that wants to kick me out of texas you didn't get, in, you didn't get indoctrinated into texas loyalty in third grade not like that when i crossed the state line they gave me my stats and my firearm oh there you go. yeah yeah <laughs> oh anyway. so you know you got to go in in it's in the hat the lyrics ah, no oh okay yeah there i'll, I'll check the go. rim of the hat sorry guys there we go. that's why we say keep it under your hat ah. yeah exactly perfect well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mara will take out all her like charting stuff and just kind of set up and, and start looking at the sky awesome. and, and forming her own thing. Cool. Awesome. Right. Ariana. Um, Ariana will probably go to like try to catch Mara to go see Thectree. Um, but seeing that she's very obviously her and Ptolemaeus are obviously very busy, she was not gonna do that. Um, so she's probably going to um probably pack up a few things and head out to just go see Vectory and just sort of okay. assuming Samat is already gone and probably try to do a little sending off on her own. Um, okay. If anyone wanted to go, I'm not against that, but I know I've been going off on my own a lot lately. I so. think Adrasos would probably go with you. Okay. He kind of wants to have a chat with you. Walking along. Okay. Is this a chat you want to role play, or is this a chat that's understood? <laughs> um, I'm ambivalent. If you have things we need to get to, it's just kind of the chummy uh, stuff. I'm waiting for you guys to say you're ready for the next morning. All right, I thought we'll, we'll role play it. Yeah. Or um, your friends that you lost. And I know you didn't say anything, but I know you well enough. Were you close? As children, yes. Um, I, of course, have been away for quite a while. We get together every time I'm in town, but um, close enough that it, it hurts. But um, <clears throat> that is, I was not the only one to have lost someone in this event, far from it. Um, and Ariana. You've been teaching me for so long about being open and sharing. And now here you are taking all of this pain, watching the statue of your God fall, your beautiful city in ruins. You've lost a friend and still, oh no, it's fine. Everyone else's problems. I'll get through it. You're our friend, Ariana. We care about you. I've had a bit longer to build up to it, but they, the other four, they care about you too. Even Agrios, in his way. If you expect me to take any lesson you ever teach me in the future, 
You need to start listening to your own. Well, you're not wrong, which means I've taught you well. <laughs> but there are there are many things happening right now and our own personal struggles can be dealt with in time but for now I will say goodbye to my friend Samant I got to say goodbye to before she left but now I get to say goodbye to Ektri in my own way as much as I was once very confident in what that meant and after yesterday I'm no longer so sure I know you are confident in your beliefs and in your devotion to your god but if this person was important to you they were important to me would it be all right with you if I spoke on her behalf to my ancestors to ease her passage into the next life. At this moment, I would feel more confident in that than my own prayers. So thank you. It would honor me to honor someone that you care for. Thank you, Adrestos. Just pat her on the shoulder and keep walking <laughs> yeah do that like friend punch friend punch yeah. progressively harder <laughs> yeah <laughs> ariana just knocks me over <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh yes bros bros, bros. uh yeah. <laughs> yeah and then uh so yeah ariana will do kind of i i you know hmm. probably doesn't have much of a of a death ritual hmm. being who she is but has a, a sort of you know find success in the next life um kind of thing and then yeah. we'll head back and is unchar uncharacteristically quiet but like is clearly trying to have moments of cheer but we'll spend the we can just hand wave the ancestor thing it, yeah 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 <laughs> it happens it's cool so, <laughs> prayers so math, happened so math has gone on you find Thectri, uh a coin on her chest and her hands crossed. Say my goodbyes right. and head back. If no one else has anything specific, it will be the next morning. By the way, the um, whole time you do this, Ariana, you have a mechanical owl lying around following. <laughs> oh yeah friend so it's there now wonderful um before we uh leave for the day everyone uh i think i've been spending a little bit too much time around tikaros because i f appear to have stolen something from her not anything physical of course just an idea that she had that i rather liked um vara the the red wrap that I gave you yesterday, could you give it back to me just for a moment? I promise I'll give it back. Oh, yes. Um, I, I love you, but please give me it back. <laughs> uh, sure. It's she she gifting. This she is. She'll untie it. And so, she kind of looks like she's like a little like, so you have to give this to someone else? Like, so I'm going gonna, gonna to put it on my arm so I remember which one is hers. Okay. And then I'm going to say, in my plan, the Sun Claws of Oreskos. We have a ritual with young braves where we are tested and tried, usually on a hunt. And when we return, we have red wraps. And then I'll hold up my uh, right hand presented to us, um, usually one for each. Uh, sort of a coming of age ritual just to say we survived and bond us as pack mates and brothers. And then as I say this, we're like, can everyone? hold out your right hand i'm not going to harm you ariana you too honestly i should have done this before <laughs> now but and so i will very like very reverently start to wrap the wraps around their hands down to their wrists and say these bonds 
would represent us as sun clothes, pack mates. I said this to Vara yesterday, but we have survived a great trial together. And I feel a kinship to you I haven't felt in some time. And though normally this would be an elder, I think I'll suffice in this situation. You are, from this day forward, truly sun clothes. And then I'll beat my chest twice, making sure that Vara got the one that I got back from her, um, and taking the wraps that I got from the temple and wrapping it around their hands and saying, once the rich, this ritual is done, you can take it off your hand if it feels weird or anything, but keep it on your person, and it marks you as a member of our clan from this day forward. Oh, that's amazing. I immediately unwrap it and just start plaiting it into my hair, into a new battle plat. Wonderful. <laughs> this looks conflicted. Ariana flex a couple times. And then take the other ribbon that she had had kind of like tied around an arm and wrap that the same way Adrastos does so she's got opposites. I'll cool. just kind of look at it a little bit and just I guess, I guess I'll keep it. I don't have to hold on to a weapon or anything. Thank you. So Agrios, are you making this is this an outward appearance that you're conflicted or Yeah, you both curious. I Sorry. I mean no insult to your god, Agrios, this doesn't take away from your devotion to Mogus. No, no, of course not. Are you sure about this? I am. Very well. I'll just kind of like give him a look and then nod. Well, the honor is mine, Agrios. Now then, <clears throat> he tries to like pump some up. We have things to do. Things by just turns and leaves. He's not good at <laughs> like being emotional, so he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana will kind of knock Agrios's shoulder and. What? Should give that look of like, you're good. <laughs> Did you want to fight? I mean. Not particularly at this moment. At one point, yes. Um, oh, I would love to see you guys far. That would be so much fun. <laughs> if that would make you feel better, Agrios. Are you well? I'm fine. I haven't been a member of a tribe in a long time. Hopefully, Me neither. You, hopefully you do not regret it. I don't make many choices that I regret, and neither does Adrastos. And if I ever come to regret this, I'll just make a logical argument that it was a good idea in the first place, so it's okay. If you look right. outside, Adrasos is like trying to look like he knows what he's doing, but has no idea where to go. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I think there was some shopping people wanted to do. And I don't like doing long shopping episodes, so what are you looking for? <laughs> I am, I actually looked it up while we were, while I was in the office. I am looking for a suit of scale mail. Okay. Uh, Either what scale does, mail or a breastplate, but I don't think I can afford a breastplate. What does everybody, does, who wants? Because I know Agrios was interested. Does anybody else want anything that isn't armor, but is something else? Hmm. 
Any that armor that I, any armor that I would want would actually be too much. So I'm going to go for weapons. Sick. Um, so I wouldn't say no to a chain shirt, which would be 50 gold, which I think after scale mail is 50 golds, we'd have a hundred gold left. Um, if that is enough for provisions and whatever Agrios wants, and if anyone else, then cool. If we need an additional amount, I'm good going with some hide armor because it's still better than what I have. I'm willing. I have 100 gold. I haven't spent any of my like original gold that I got. So I was just oh, okay. going to buy the scale mail out of my purse and not spend Fantastic. what we were given. Hi, uh, Vara enjoyed hunting with Agrios last time. Um, so I think in terms of spending money on armor versus like supplies i don't think rations are as big of a need because i feel like we're a pretty capable party at hunting and, and um she's a druid so she can kind of find she's got good berries and stuff like that so we can save money on um rations to put towards armor cool are you planning to walk how far is it on the map uh, that's a good question. So let's say you have a planning <laughs> session and uh, discussing this with... Uh, At dawn, we plan. <laughs> I figured at yes, some point Lutus. somebody might ask. So uh, I don't know if the map's come up yet on your side. Got it. But here is Akros. That is where you are at. Okay. And you are headed down here. Oh, we shouldn't walk. That's a lot. Okay. Walking. No walking. <laughs> now, there are options. There is water travel and land travel. Good water travel. Well, Vara, you haven't seen the water in a while, right? That I would be happy to captain the ship. In fact, I know enough people to where I could probably get us a, a ship for a fair price. Or... I was going to say, don't you have shipping, shipping is not the correct word, a sailing experience? That would, I think, be a wonderful thing to, you've seen me in my element, I'd love to see you in yours. I have captain experience, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, oh, well, well, Captain Vari <laughs> makes him over and bow. Yes, I would, I think we should travel by sea. I want to see Captain Vara in action. Since I was 16. So what Adventures. kind of uh, boat would you be wanting to purchase or rent? Um, How much are those? Well, that's going to depend greatly on what she says, because I do have a price list. <laughs> I thought this might come up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think in terms of... Um... Oh, uh... A fairly basic ship. I, I don't think we would need anything too crazy. Um, ideally, it would have some kind of armament, at least one harpoon and or cannon. Um, but in terms of lodging and everything, it doesn't have to be very big. See, we're being no. with a little bit of defense. So yeah, it so you're talking open sea travel. Yes. So those are ten, tend to be sailing ships, maybe a long ship. You wouldn't really want to take a, a keel boat out on that, but you no. probably don't need anything as large as a galley. Yes. Yeah, just like a little frigate or something. Because right? we're basically time. going river to harbor to river to bay, yes? Well, uh, looking at the map. Can you point out where we're going again? I missed the You are going flash. down here. Yeah. Okay. So you will have to go open water out here at some point. Yeah. Now you could. Oh, will you? <clears throat> you could come through here, go through Melitus Harbor, cross this river, and into the bay. I mean, you could, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the river out. Um, simply because, actually, Var, you have the experience. Real quick, uh, if we do go by the river how how likely is it for us to fall into the water in the river i mean in, in, water. 
in theory, regardless of whether we're in the ocean or river, um, you should not be falling off of my ship. But um, <laughs> uh, and I could I could have your word for that. Well, uh, depends on the storms, I suppose. Yeah. I guess if if we were to sail on ocean water and there were some kind of storm, there's that possibility. And of course, we've been dealing with various threats, so. I can't promise that something won't come try to kill us and throw you overboard, but in terms of just general boatsmanship, I I see no reason for you to fall off my ship. But I won't let you technically drown, by Tully. river. I am. Technically by river would be less risk. Uh, I should perhaps uh, admit something at this point. I've never traveled by sea Neither. before. That's fine. Also, um, quite an active and dead, deathly fear of of water, large bodies of it. Ah, um, well, I want you all at the top of your game. Um, I will not be able to mend the ship entirely on my own, so uh, it does seem like sticking by river will be best then. Sounds good. I have a question. Would it be possible to sell the armor I have to put it towards the armor I want? Absolutely. Cool. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent of value you would be able to get for if you took time negotiating. So seventy-five percent of what your armor is listed as worth, you could sell it for. Okay. I realized I have some gold, so I can just buy my own out. Uh, okay, so if we are going by river boat, um, is there, there's like rental options then, theoretically? Possibly, yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we go negotiate, before we buy anything out of party funds, why don't we go negotiate boat and then see what we have? Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, perhaps we should go to the docks first, uh, Vara, and you can point out a nice ship and we can see what that's going to cost us. Sure. Wonderful. Uh, cool. Can we go do that? Well, you're in Akros, which is a uh, rather mountain-bound area, so there isn't oh, we're a not close <clears throat> to the river. Close dock, right there. But you could make your way a little ways to one of the smaller towns. <clears throat> Got it. And find something. Uh, and they're going to have armories and stuff. Like anything we oh, yeah. can find here, we'll be able to find there. Uh, you'd probably do better in Akros for some things. Okay. So you might okay, want to well, gather in... some of that stuff before you go. So. Okay. Um, in that case, Agrios, what did, what were you wanting for weapons? Agrios wants a couple more javelins, and he wants uh, a battle axe. Fantastic. Um, if you wanted to, Agrios, there's a possibility, and Ariana, you would. Adrastos, you might be aware of this. With all the confusion and everything that's gone on, there's probably some javelins unaccounted for at the stadium. Ah, I'm not, I'm not above that. <laughs> oh, and Just battle axes are like gold. Yeah. I think Tikaros would actually help you find javelins if we were going to go scavenge and she would look for any crossbow bolts as well and she would just try and snaffle them for herself if she found any oh and adrastos has no shame he would be like oh yeah no i know where they kept the javelins come with me <laughs> <laughs> absolutely you can find javelins and crossbow bolts no problem because they would be left over from things around the events um, so javelins i will say five javelins and uh 20 crossbow bolts so that That's raises it. a question for me. Is there a shield 
that has some kind of like acro symbol on it that would have been available at the games. Yes. It's a kid-sized one <laughs> in tin. <laughs> it, yeah, it's just, it's fake. <laughs> yeah. It starts as your plate and then you can like hook on straps to it. <laughs> Let Sorry. me refine my question. Is there a shield of comparable value and use as my big shield? You know, when the stadium collapsed, there were several uh, statues, monuments around inside and outside. And these monuments were made of bronze, but they tended to put real weapons in their hands and real shields. So actually, there is a shield that used to belong to the guardian of the front gates, which was a large statue that stood out front. And since you are a large Leonian, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Um, but he is, that is like that is a that is going to be a plus one shield. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that's super cool. Thank you. See, we're slowly working on magic items for everybody. Isn't this nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> love it uh yeah ariana's gonna want to go find some chain so she'll probably go to the temple of uh Eros and see if they have any vendors preferred i'm sure there's preferred vendors that they use okay uh and i will buy some chain right are you what kind of get... chain are you looking for um basic uh chain shirt um just stat wise um i think it's 13 plus dex so it's 50 gold uh yep. by the book and yeah 50 gold fantastic Wunderbar. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. She does find a basic one, though, that doesn't have a big Eros symbol on it right now. <laughs> okay. Feeling a little conflicted about wearing this open. Yeah, the one you get, that it has concentric rings on it. Yeah. Yeah, red exactly. and white concentric ring yeah <laughs> do you do you need a shield ariana i have a shield okay yes she fights with a shield so she's good no. so well and in that case because he's taking it and there's still a part of him that's like i can't do this he's gonna leave the shield he was fighting with and just kind of <laughs> pat it and just say to himself and hope that whoever is because while he does not necessarily honor the gods, he knows they exist, and he knows they get angry. He's going to say, <laughs> just uh, shield of a champion. <laughs> and then just exactly. leave it there and walk away. Right. I love it. So, uh, Elitus will want to see you before you set out <clears throat> so that he can confirm your route. Just a couple of questions. So how much of the gold have we spent and how many of those javelins can I have? There were five found. It's up to you how you divvy them. Um, uh, I would like We one. haven't spent any money, by the way. So, right. Agrios, you can have four if you want. Uh, oh, I already have one. I'll take three of them. I, I, feel, like having, I feel like four is a good amount, number of uh, javelins okay. to carry with you. Nice even number. Well, I only want one, so I guess we'll leave one behind for the same reason, because now I have ten. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, I'll, I'll take one if you're out. There okay. you go. And then, yeah, I spend, I guess, ten gold on a battle axe. Hell there's yeah. one available. And then the last thing that I want is to see if there's someone in town who can, magically or otherwise, fix my horn. Um, before we do that, can I do a real quick thing with Agrios? Just because 
address this feels like he get, he needs to give Agrius more because he made him uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk up to um, Agrius say, uh, you know, I see you buying the battle axe. Would you, um, and he reaches behind his back and he pulls out a pair of hand axes. I don't know if you like to throw these instead of javelins. It, you mm. seem to like axes a lot. Well, they are sort of the holy symbol. And he just flips them oh, around and offers them to him. Axe holy. Haha. <laughs> axe holy. Very well. <laughs> I, uh, I appreciate this gift. I. I like throwing weapons. Uh, if I use one, then I have a hand free for casting spells. That makes perfect sense. I've seen the damage you can do with your divine magic, so. But, uh, hmm. Throwing axes. Yes, yes, this will do nicely. Thank you. Do you want more javelins? Oh, no, no, I'm, uh, I like to get up in there, if you understand me. I'm not much of a throwing weapons person. Ah, yes. That is something I admire about you. Well, the willingness to get into the fray. He just nods, because he is, again, not good at taking. <laughs> so, yes, well, um, I hope they will serve you well, and... Certainly better than they've served me. As you can see, there's not a notch on them. I don't think I've ever used them since they were made for me as a boy. Hmm. Very well. I would, I would say I would think of you when I use them, but I really try to sort of lose myself in the bloodlust of battle, so I don't think of much. <laughs> as long as you don't picture me as the target, that's fine with me. <laughs> oh, no, I won't do that. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, you just Try have a pair of hand axes. <clears throat> I don't have anything to offer in return, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's... I'm not using it, and it would just be thrown away or weighing me down, so I... You're doing me a favor by taking them off my hands. I see. Well... That's interesting. Do you often uh, give away things that you simply haven't found a use for yet? Only to people that I think will find them useful. Hmm. Sensible, I suppose. They are well made. They were made by an Oreskian, Oreskos battlesmith, one of the last things I have of my clan, actually, but. Again, no use in my hands. Yeah, Ag Agrius uh, looks it over and kind of feels its weakness hand. Yes, it is fine. Hmm. Ah, very well. Uh, I will use it to kill our enemies. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> away he <Yes>. goes. <laughs> I, I, I hope we don't get you on a pirate ship because I could just see the two of you. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Agrios and Adrastus would be absolutely just a menace. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I blame Vara for this. She made us be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and now we I can just... be pirates! <laughs> yes! <laughs> because uh, I love the bro-outs, I just imagine Ariana and Vara, like, behind fences, just, like, watching. <laughs> <laughs> friends, friends, friends. Right, so uh, does you anyone else want some... anything? Sorry, yeah. I think we're good? Good. All right. So you've spent something and got ten, armor? Ten gold. Right? You got it? Was oh, I thought spent you were going to buy that chainmail. 
I, I realized I had some gold. Um, I should have looked at my sheet first, um, <laughs> but I had some left over, so I got better armor. What I actually that? came out in the green selling my armor and buying this. Woo. By six gold. They owed me money. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're good, though. Apparently, my keyboard noise suppression isn't working because I can hear myself typing and I'm very yeah. self conscious about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, Elitis is going to check with all of you before you head out to see what the, the plan is. And when you mention that you want to get a boat, he's kind of going to. Uh, um, what kind of boat? Oh, um, well, uh, kind of depends on what we're willing to do, um, and what we think we might come up against. It'd be between a keelboat and a sailing ship. Granted, if we had a sailing ship, we would need a crew, um, but it would be more fortified and a faster travel. Um, yes, um, and also quite expensive, I'm afraid. Yes, it is significantly uh, more expensive than a keelboat um so i think it, i i mean yes, we're all uh, good fighters and it, it seems like um due to some well we have some fresh people who have never been on a ship before so i, I think a keelboat um we'll, we'll be sticking to the rivers it, sh it should be fine still uh he's, a pretty penny about three thousand but um i may yeah. be able to um, uh trade some favors I don't want to know about what kind of favors you trade for a ship, but... Um, Being a good captain, what, saving people's what, lives. One, one moment, and he's going to go back upstairs, and you hear him asking Dracos, um, could they use the dolphin? And I, I know it's... But Bara is a capable... She, and you just hear this debate go, you hear the elitist side of the debate, the Draco <laughs> side, you don't see anything, but you kind of get the impression he's having his side of the conversation with a look. <laughs> and uh, eventually Elitus comes back downstairs. Um, there is a keelboat in Data Harbor. Um, unfortunately, you will probably have to go by land to get there. Um, most of the shipping that's going on here uh, has been bringing supplies for the wounded and taking people back home. So there's not gonna be a lot of room on those. Um, but, um, and he looks up, kind of looks upstairs. Dracaeus' family has a ship. Um, the dolphin. It's a keelboat. Um, it's fairly well appointed, uh, and it is awaiting in the harbor. And uh, he will send word ahead that you have permission. Uh, Vara, um, it will specifically be in your name and responsibility. Sure. I wouldn't let anything happen to that ship. Good. Well. Data Harbor. So we're in Militus right now, correct? You are in no, Akros. No, we're in Akros. Oh, duh. We're in Akros. Ooh. <laughs> um, and we're trying to get to... Data. Data is down here. Yes, I this... see that. Okay, so we're in Akros. We'd go down to Data. And you're looking and to get over there. To get to right. Okay. Is there a now you might be able to find some kind of river travel, but I was gonna say, is there can we hop a easy. okay? Yeah, could we would it be worth us trying to go to Farragax Bridge and see if someone is willing to let us hop on their the unfortunately the bridge is what was damaged. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so the you would have to take the long way around. Let's. I'm not making this easy. Just count. No, on. it's not going to be easy. Well, okay. If we if we <laughs> go if we go by foot south to the um the delta here. Um, would there be a town down there that might have a ship going out? Possible. You might be able to find something right down here where the river lies. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so we, yeah. supply a supply ship. We could just um, take passage on. Yeah, just a delivery kind of thing. Sure. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, so yes, unless there's Paris nothing else to good. do, uh-uh. let's head you out. Mm-hmm. Right. So it is going to be a bit of a hike as you try to make your way down. And it's kind of quiet. Most people have traveled in or out that are going to, and everything else is is stuck. You know, the the people who are on ships, it's going to be wounded and dead or being taken home. So your best bet is to not hug the river too much as you make your way down the mountain passes. So. Wandering a bit through the the stony woodland areas as night begins to fall, you come across what appears to be some abandoned ruins. And as you get close into this area, a fog covers the area. So while you have a nice moonlit night, it's fairly dark and obscured with where you're at. But, you know, fire has a specific look in fog. You can kind of see it in the distance. It kind of glows a little bit more. And as you're passing these ruins, you see what appears to be a campfire. You're muted. <laughs> Realize that. Uh, uh, it, Tikaros, do you want to go quietly and see who's there? I was just thinking that. I thought you might be. I, yeah. I could do a little scout. Yes? A moment. I want to try something. Give me okay. one, one minute. Exactly one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Adrastus looks at the moon to track its passage. <laughs> and Agrius is going to cast Augury to uh, okay. ask, should we approach this uh, this campfire? Okay. Reading these those red bands that he was given. As you look at these in the way they fall, very interestingly, previously when you'd seen them, they they form a letter, like yes. In this case, they all fall with the sharp pointy end facing towards the campfire. And I assume that is wheel? I think that would be a fair assumption, yeah. <laughs> He gathers those up and says, The gods have spoken. We should approach. Okay. Ariana will look skeptical for a moment, but then nod and agree. (laughs) But which gods were they that were talking to you? Because we didn't work that out. Doesn't matter, let's go. I yeah, let's not <laughs> dwell on that, I think, right now. <laughs> Too late. Too late at night. So are you going as a group or is Tikaros doing recon? We'll go All as right. a group. Yeah. Right. yeah, I'll follow. As you make your way in and you get a little bit closer, the fog is still quite heavy. 
But what you see in the distance appears to be a figure in armor carrying a spear. Look in your direction. All you can see is the silhouette of it. And I think that is where we're going to take our break. <laughs> So as mentioned, you see a figure standing in the distance, in armor, carrying a spear. And you're about oh, 40 feet away. I will hold up my hands with my shield and sword on my back and say, we, we mean no harm. Hello. Oh. The figure does not move. Can I take out my telescope and try to get a better look at who or what it is? With the fog, you may. And what you see is... I can, um, gust of wind. Go ahead. Let me see. Let me double check. I've got a couple of spells now. Um... Just... So probably not, I have warding wind, but that would, y'all would be near me. <laughs> um, I would have to walk forward a little bit. Okay. But yeah, I guess, I guess what I'll do is I'll kind of, I guess I'll approach um, and get within Ooh, if it has like a pole arm, then I, um, I'll get semi close, like maybe twenty feet away, and then use warding wind. Okay, I'm gonna stay right with Farah. Okay, if you stay near me, you will be deafened. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm ba I'm basically making a storm. Oh, okay. Happening. Well, then I will yeah. take a couple steps back. Yeah, uh, as long as you're not within a ten foot radius of me. Hmm. But I'm so I'm, I'm I'll actually step pretty close and do warding wind. Um, yeah, I think I think about fifteen feet away from it to where if it does try to approach me and attack me, it'll be uh, in okay. the storm. That's going to put you just on this side of the campfire. Cool. And when you bless the wind, the campfire of course flickers in it, and you get a momentary get, glance because. The fog clears, but then immediately fills back up. Mm. But what you see is a statue made of bronze. Oh. Um, it's just, a, I'm like yelling over storm winds <laughs> because I'm basically in like a self-created little hurricane. Um, like it's, it, it appears to be just a statue, but the, the fog around, uh, almost seems to be magical, which, uh, based on recent events, I, I don't like. <laughs> sure, we're supposed to. We, we, we should approach this. Agrios? Tam, how sure am I that I got the <laughs> weird result from my hey. augury? All signs pointed to the campfire. All signs point to the Where campfire. Where else would you go? Yeah. Agrios is confident. He is trotting toward the campfire. All is well. Uh, we'll be prepared then. Okay. I'll follow along. As you approach the campfire, you hear a noise behind you as someone clears their throat. And now my camera chooses to stop working. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> awesome! Amazing! And the figure steps out of the fog into the light. Interesting way to enter someone's campsite. 
Good evening. Who are you? Travelers, we don't mean you any harm. He walks over next to the campfire. Well then, he picks up a small jug and places a cap in it, and the fog vanishes. Oh. That's a good trick. Useful. Ooh. Well, I will, I will stop concentrating on my wind. Thank you. <laughs> now you can restart my fire. Uh, yes, apologies. <laughs> Vara will go over and like <laughs> attempt to restart it, but she's very obviously not super experienced in this, so she's like, uh. <laughs> oh, I'll help. I'll help. I Thank just wave so my much. hand <laughs> and I, I start with a little burst of prestidigitation, start the fire up again. I'm not going to stand the whole time. I'm grabbing my chair. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Can we just pause and just look at you? Magnificent. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely so fantastic. Yeah, it's awesome. Amazing. Gosh. This is what it's a little for. tight to sit in, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> having fantastic. having sat in numerous corsets, I I understand. <laughs> <laughs> At once, I should have brought a stool. Yeah. What brings you to my camp, travelers? Well, uh, it's on the way down down to the pier. That's pretty much about it. We didn't know there was anybody setting up camp here. The roads can be quite dangerous. We wanted to confirm that you weren't one of them. One of whom? The dangerous. The dangerous. I am quite dangerous. I, you appear to be, which is why I uh, started that wind. Very, very imposing and intimidating. So journeying, where to? Dimmer the South. Bay. <laughs> Ada Harbor. And from there, well that is out. Your kind, Centaur. Many battles have been going on lately. The Minotaurs, the Centaurs, they're fighting against what they refer to as the undead. Are you part of this? <laughs> they are hardly my kind any longer. I was cast out long ago. May I use my divine sense? Of course. Uh, wonderful. Um, any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet? No. <laughs> Surprise, well, Adrasos has been a fiend the whole time. <gasps> <laughs> I know my armor's creaking. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> but I love it. So who do you follow? I follow my god. And what god is this? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah, a god of war. Yes. Of bloodshed in battle. Yes. He had a special name for me when we fought. Mm. 
Pardon? You, I you cracked his warrior horn. <laughs> he cried, mercy, mercy, <laughs> that Ira was his brother, stay my hand. <laughs> Ariana's looking back and forth from what? Agrios to him. What blasphemy do you speak, sir? I don't speak of blasphemy. I speak of days of great glory. When the gods would take form and fight. We have witnessed this ourselves. And when is this? In The gods took human form and led an army. Not so much an army as a head-to-head, -head, the brothers you speak of, my god and his. Hmm. Of course. They're always bickering. They have been from as long as I can remember. Who are you that walks the lands for so long? Just, just a man, just a warrior who's seen his better days of glory. Holding your own against Mogus himself is quite an accolade. Hmm. Many did during the day. But they don't tell the myths of that anymore. It all has to be the gods of the greatest. Not when the gods walked alongside man and we fought together. Drastos, having heard these legends as a boy, is actually super invested. He's like, he's got a big smile on his face, arms crossed. Because he's like, yes, this is when the Leonid likes the gods. <laughs> Forgive me. Welcome to my camp. I am Orcos Parmenian Pylanor. You're gonna have to spell that. And you are? I will walk up and do the warrior salute with the two beats on my chest. Adrastos of the Sunclaw Clan of Araskos. Sunclaw. I know that name from somewhere. Hmm. We were a clan of great repute. Are he corrects himself. We are a clan of great repute. It does not surprise me that their deeds would have been heard this far south. Hmm. And you, strong horseman. Call me Agrios. I am an oracle and cleric of Mogus. Mm. Pity, I feel for you. Huh. Why pity me, sir? Because you are at the beck and call of the gods to do their will and speak their words. I'm sure at least once it has caused you problems. If not, take my word, it will. It is my honor to serve. <laughs> That's what they all say. I suppose you'll have to pity me as well. Um, Ariana of Akros, um, follower of Eroas. Hmm. I know a woman in Akros. Who's your mother? That's a good question. Um, hmm. Elianus. Hmm. Say, oh God, oh God. Uh, 
what? Let's move on to the, with the introductions. My, my name is Ptolemaeus. Fine. Ptolemaeus. And what is special about you? What god calls your name and holds your leash? Does there need to be special in, in God's realms and whatnot? We are all but men. <laughs> the gods are real. The gods exist. You choose either to serve them or do their bidding unknowingly. <laughs> exactly. And you, uh, fish woman. A lantern. You are a lantern, are you not? Um, not to my knowledge. Uh, mm. no, my name is Vara. I am of the sea, um, and I worship Athreos. Ah, Athreos. Good god, bit reserved. I suppose. But, uh, he has a hint of compassion. Oh, most definitely. And you, spry little thing. I like spray. And I'll wave and do like a little shower of sparks with press the digitation as the wave goes. And in his head, I'll say, Emtikoros. Hmm. The lucky one. Well, half lucky, as I can see. Have you ever felt on those cold, dark nights not fully yourself? Yeah. Hmm. You might want to look into that one day. Hey. Tell me your secrets, mysterious lover man. What do you know about me? <laughs> well, I know nothing of you, but... You just seem... familiar in a way. Do You're not half the seem... woman you could be, though. Ah. Them's fighting words. I'm pretty good, usually. <laughs> oh. Good at a fight or good in general? In general. Hmm. So again, I ask, what brings you to my campfire? No one wanders into my cap for no reason. Curiosity? Well, to be fair, the gods Curiosity. didn't tell us that it was a good idea. Indeed, I read the bands. They pointed to you. <laughs> Mogus sent you this way, did he? Yes. Perhaps we are to that <laughs> door. Yes. That's just how Agriel says hello. Yeah, I can see why he would send you here. You and I went way back, fought many battles, many bloody battles, <sighs> many regrets. Ariana's just staring at him and watching for something. She doesn't know what, but she's watching for something. Are those tales of regrets that you are willing to share and regale? Hmm. Interesting. What happened to your hair? I just kind of move my hair a little bit and kind of touch it. It's just, 
melded with the stars one day. I suppose everybody has the touch of gods. Somewhere. Yeah. Right? You can call it that. So where did yours happen? At the bottom of a stable cart? Run over by a chariot? That's morbid. No, no, no. You, it is drowned. In a lake? No. River? No, smaller than a river. In a bath? No, larger than a bath. What is your, what is your purpose? Camping out in a, mm. an area like yes, this? Yes, exactly. Are you on a... You've come. We've, Go ahead. we've come to assess danger, and as you said, you are quite dangerous, but what of you? Why have you camped out in a place of such open air ruins? I sit in a dead city amid ruins in a cloud of fog, and you ask why I'm in the open. <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? To go on or something lost. Hmm. And what are you seeking, O'Lantern? And he looks at Var. Oh, um... I'm seeking a number of things, but uh, presently we're seeking passage on a, on a ship. Or what boat, are rather. you seeking, child? Oh, um... Uh, the exceptions. Exceptions to what? To Athreos. Exceptions to Athreos. Never heard of it. Oh. Really? Did he lose something? No, he, um... Well, there were, there were a handful of people that he made a deal with. Um, eight, to be exact. And um, I believe it is my purpose to bring them back, for they were given uh, a chance to try again, and um, with the promise of return, and they have not returned. So I shall return them. It is it is a duty of of any follower of Athreos, but I. I take it especially seriously. I believe it is my divine mission. So the ferryman loses eight, and it's your job to bring them all back. Power yes. to you, child. Thank you. <laughs> She's kind of looking around awkwardly because Ptolemaeus. she hasn't told anyone about this yet. <laughs> See, Ptolemaeus, we all either serve the gods willingly or unwillingly. Knowingly or unknowingly. It may be a fool's errand, but at least she has a mission. She knows where she stands. Well, I know where I stand. Always searching for that third option. Whether or not I find it, that's something that's still in the stars, let's just say. A barrel, a barrel of water. No, I'll, I'll figure it out soon. What is the special meaning of this place? That you stand guard over it. Hmm. Adrastos of the Sun Claw. Oh, yes. 
It was a minotaur. Met him after a battle that he had done, yes. Did you know? He had a small cub with him. I believe, I believe he said the cub was a sun claw. Something about the last of his kind. Obviously, he was mistaken. That mistake will cost him dearly. I assure you. And why is that? Because I'm going to kill him. I'm going to separate his head from his body, tear his horns from his head, and jab them into his eyes so when he meets Athreos, he will wander blindly into the afterlife. <laughs> well, an excellent plan, except you'll only get half a horn. Good well, enough. At least on the one side. Good and enough. he points to the embroidery in his belt, which you can see there are pieces of bone embedded in three coins that are on his armor skirting. I took that from him myself. Does he yet live? He lives. Well, he lived. I've shown up at a few places in his aftermath. He, he tends to leave a lot of bodies. Claims to be working in the name of Erebos, but... This Minotaur, he wields hammers? Yes. Hmm. Where did you see name? him last? Cray Craw. His name is Crassus. Craft. Ah, that's it. Yes, Crassus. Yes. And the cub. Yes, the cub. <laughs> well, that was what the fight started over. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't see the, the young lad roasted on a spit. Just didn't seem, didn't seem fitting to me. Um, you can see at this point that um, Adrastos is gripping his hands so tight that they're bleeding. And, and anyone else could see that uh, also Agrios has, uh, he perked up at the name Crassus. Yeah, Crassus. Anyway, I... I won the battle and we made the deal and he sent a couple of his warriors to carry the orphan to uh, some place in the south. Uh, some place for orphans. Uh, I don't remember now. Some village. Uh, what was the orphan's name? It'll come to me. I'm sorry. What? The orphan's name. What was it? Oh. oh, goodness. I can barely remember his name. Uh. Tiaz? Very well. Adrastos South now realizing that his, that his hands are bleeding is just going to stand up and um, Ariana takes the... one step over and gives you one point of lay on hands to stop the bleeding. She does not because when oh. Ariana gets closer, he pulls his arm away. Oh, this bitch. This obviously isn't what getting What's better. the name of that village? It was on the edge of the mire. He takes his, uh, the gold piece off and starts to clean it so it doesn't get blood on it. The other one is just turning more red. 
uh, as soon would... as he, as soon as the guy says that, sorry. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Oh, I one really quick question: Would Ariana have come across a place that is known to have orphans in the past? Satessa. In her travels, Satessa. Okay, wonderful. Uh, as, go ahead, Michael. As soon as he uh, mentioned something about the the edge of the mire, I'll just be like, "There's a village named Tavi." Tavi, that's it. Yes. Well, how interesting that the f that is where we're trying to head to. Except that the what village is? no longer exists. What is where you're headed? What? Tavi. Tavi's a place? I was trying to remember the name of a plant. It is also a name of a person as well. It's a very popular name. So it would seem. It's almost as if it's some sort of cruel joke. Probably formulated, as you said, by the gods. Hmm. I see no point in staying here, if, if anybody else wanted to have their questions not answered. What? You think that your questions, any question you have, deserves to be answered? Are you some kind of entitled brat? Everything talking? should be handed to you. I wasn't talking to you. No, but you were speaking out think, loud in my camp. Do you think and you spoke as though here? you think that anyone do should you think, answer your questions. Answers are earned. Do you think all of us are here for you to prod and poke at whatever we particularly want to hide about our past, or particularly not want to relive about our past? Do you think all of us have some sort of meaning specifically for you to go and guess. Is it just, are we just games to you? Is that what it is? Every single one of us. Hmm? Which question would you like answered first? Or I'll answer them in order. Yes. Yes. I haven't yes. heard any of those answers. And I'll walk away. You want answers. You have to earn them. You want answers? Come take them. And he picks up his spear. I will immediately launch myself at him, sword and shield in hands. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do, he takes his second spear and puts it up. And when you get up to him. I assume you're doing like a shield bash. Mm -hmm. And he holds his spear up and you hit the spear and it is like running into a brick wall. Stone wall. You just slam into the wall and stop. I'm more than happy to fight with you. But there are some things that well, there must be rules. And he takes out from his pouch a black cover and places it over the end of his spear. Wish my camera was working. And ties it on. And one thing you notice about the cover, it has a fine silver thread wrapped around through it. Let's see if I can get the camera to work. Uh. Hold on, I'm going to flip cameras for a minute. While you do, um, Adrastos will slam his sword into the sheath and pull it off the back of his shield and wrap it in cloth so that it won't come out of the sheath. All right. 
Oh, you Perhaps. don't have to wrap yours to protect me, young fellow. Rules are rules. I will fight you on even ground. Perhaps cooler heads should prevail in this moment. I will earn my answers. Perhaps we can find our answers in Satess. Satessa. But I want to fight. And I think we can indulge that. There are other ways to earn respect than fighting, to be fair. But so yes, much. but respect is not answers. <laughs> and young mistress, you look like a fighter, but I have the feeling you've only been in tournaments. This is a tournament of sorts. You can earn your answers. Any other rules I should know before we begin? Um, He's going to stand up and take his spear and mark a circle. And as he walks with his spear, the circle lines out in red in the area around. Anyone who goes outside of these borders is down. Uh, if it's all the same, <laughs> Varro, Varro will step outside of the circle already. <laughs> I, uh, I don't really have any questions, so I would rather not participate in this. <laughs> hmm. Your choice. Thank you. Uh, How about the rest of you? Ariana will step in um, with also her sh sheath attached um, and will put a hand to Adrastos and cast protection, protection from evil and good. Might not do anything, but we're going to just in case. Right. I've started an initiative order. Uh, my initiative and isn't working in there. Placed... So remember, put your token on the board, click on your token, then click on initiative. My numbers aren't in, my sheet never linked properly. Is that going to matter? Oh, yeah, same. Um, same you, can now. Just, you can just, you can just, Tell me what it is. Okay. Uh, and we'll work on that another time because it should work. <laughs> it rolled a two. So that's a two. <laughs> oh, man. I thought that's not the worst we've seen. Yeah. Let's see. I've got Agrios at one. Oh, Agrios. No. At seven. <laughs> us. Tikaros, are you going to take place in this? Uh, I'll do my initiative, but I'm still deciding what to do. So I'm on an eight. Okay. Well, come on, roll 20. There we go. And Mara is, of course, sitting out. Uh, Hopefully the light is all also, also walked away. Okay, Ptolemaeus steps out as well. Oh, that's a pity. I was looking forward to beating him. Ptolemaeus is much more cutting with his words. Oh, this is perfect. Tolly, look at this star map I tried last night. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, start, she'll start pouring over the different maps that we... Uh... Um, or charts yeah. that she's kind of gathered and, and look at his hair and, and try to ponder more about that potential gap in the next. Um, speaking of his hair, though, because uh, while that whole uh, situation happened, after after him walking out, you could you do notice that the hair is moving. The stars are moving much faster. Oh, oh. very uh, good. Yeah, we. Let's, yeah, let's, let's look at the charts. So, Orcos takes his spears, taps them together, 
and then just stands there. So Tikaros, that would put you up first. Oh, I thought I did really badly. Did I do better than everybody? Everybody did poorly. Oh, geez. Okay. Her Feels eyes dart bad. around. <laughs> her eye. Uh, yeah, she darts her eyes around and she goes, "Is there? Is there maybe a section of the circle that's like the maybe section?" And takes a five steps back, and she will cast Mage Armor on herself. Okay. Um, and that's it for now. All right. In that case, I believe next is Adrastos. All right. Um, Adrastos is going to... He's mad. Uh, he's probably the least controlled he has ever been. Um, so he's just going straight in for a fainting attack. Okay. Um, ooh that is 25 to hit. That is a hit. Okay. That will be 11 damage. All right. What kind of damage? Um, I'm assuming because it is within my sheath, it's bludgeoning. Okay. So that well, is just... Any edged attacks or bludgeoning? Yes. Is everybody doing that? or Because I don't care. It's up to you. <laughs> yeah, did, he didn't tell us to, to go non -lingual. He did not? Yeah. Un un until yeah. it... Well, I mean, I'm just following I his rules. That. But... <laughs> That may not be forever. He may just go close the wall as it is, as it were. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so for right now, that's 11 damage. Just poof. wait, hold on. It's not right. 11 damage. I'm sorry. It is more than that because I used a fainting attack. I forgot that I get to add damage. Um, so it is 11 plus... So it's 17 damage. Okay. Excuse the squeaking as I write this down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Adrastos? Um, no, and that was aimed kind of right here um, because Adrastos being a powerful warrior and a experienced warrior knows that even with a blunt weapon, if you break someone's clavicle, they're down. So that's what he's attempting okay. to do. <laughs> All right. So uh, position yourself where you'd be on the map. Okay. Uh, Since you're in melee range now. Right up on him. All right. Even angry address just can't break that stupid little thing called honor. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana. Um, yeah, I guess she's gonna take a swing at this guy. Um, and that's gonna be a she can use her short sword. Oh, that was almost a 19, but that's a nine. Uh, 13, I'm gonna assume doesn't hit. That is a miss. And go ahead and move yourself to where you're standing as well. Oh, right. Sorry, got not enough screens up in here. Um, just step in there. Uh, oh, no, wait, where is he? Over there, right there. Um, and, um, then I think she's gonna action surge because she took a level of fighter. Which I think is, I get that All right now, fighter features. Oh no, I get second wing, not action surge yet. Never mind, that's second level. So no, I'm not going to do anything. All right. Agrios. This is going to get up here. He's just got a shield out right now. No weapon in that hand. And that's why with that hand, he's going to uh, mutter a quick prayer under his breath and uh, shoot out a guiding bolt. Okay. Uh, 
All right, go ahead and make my roll. Well, let's see, that's not great. That would be a 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, channel divinity guided strike to add plus 10 to that, which I can do after seeing the roll, but before hearing the result, so that's a 20. All right, that's a hit. All right. Oops. Okay. 13 radiant damage, and the next attack against him gets advantage. Okay. Now that all of you, was that it for you? I just want to make sure we're. Uh, yeah. All right. He Unless... kind of shakes his head, smiles. I'm sorry, Agrius, you, you stuttered for a moment. Uh, uh, you know, I realized I didn't do anything with a bonus action. Would, would it be okay mm -hmm. if I summoned also my spiritual weapon? Please do. Will do. Let me get it out there. Uh, smiting Axe of Agrius. Do I have a token for that still? Sure do. You should have it. It looks like it. Yep. That'll summon out there, and that, I believe, also gets a free attack whenever I summon it. Uh, so, one okay. more attack there as the bonus. Action. Uh, melee spell attack. Yep. So, that's the... That's going to be missed. So, that's fine. It's still out there. Wouldn't it have advantage from Guiding Bolt? Oh, it would have advantage from Guiding Bolt. Yeah, go for True. it. True. I didn't even think of. I didn't think of the fact that my own attack would have advantage there. <laughs> okay. That is nineteen to hit. That's a hit. Uh huh. Uh, all right, and that is ten uh, damage. Ten. So, what kind? Sorry, that is and force damage. Thank you. Excellent. He kind of shakes his head, smiles, and then he takes his spear and throws it at Agrios, and that's a dirty 20. That'll hit, for sure. It bounces off of Agrios, flies over towards Adrastos. And I got to do math here, so bear with me. That's a 23. Yeah, that hits. Hits Adrastos in the chest, flips around. And that, well, that's a 26, so I assume that hits Ariana. Yeah. And then comes right back to his hand. And now I'll do the damage rolls. <laughs> um, if I got hit with that as well, can I use my reaction to lower the damage on Adrastos? I have a, how so? a protector. Uh, explain to uh, me. How, I, have, so. I have interception as my fighting style. And so as a reaction, I can um uh I can lower the damage that someone else takes when they get hit. But if yeah, I'm getting hit- I was thinking thematically, how would you do it? Oh, thematically um, would would probably sort of swing at the uh, javelin or the, the spear coming and sort of tipping the end okay. off so that it catches his shoulder instead of going straight through his middle or something like that. Okay. Sounds good to me. Cool. So Agrios, uh, that is 10 bludgeoning. And then you take a... that that would be eleven plus less whatever Ariana's doing. Minus eleven. <laughs> so 
So it just taps off of you there. And Ariana, that's eight. And then he just stares at you, looks back across all three of you. And Tikaros, you're up. Okay. I am going to try something which I think is silly because he seems really smart, but I'm going to try it anyway. I am going to speak into his head and I'm going to say, Please stop fighting us and just share your secrets and your wisdom with us. And I'm going to cast suggestion. <laughs> okay. So that's a wisdom save, uh, DC yep. 14. And he fails the save. So what was your suggestion again? Please stop fighting us and tell us all your secrets and wisdom. And I yell out to my party, stop fighting him. Don't hit him. He's going to tell us all he knows. And I wait. And he thinks for a moment and he sets his spear butt down on the ground. It is always the best choice to look over your opponents before you attack. Even if they may wound you in advance, you learn so much about their fighting style. I'm making up for all the people I viciously and brutally murdered over the years. Wow. Okay. Um, I can I do can I run up with can I use my movement at this point? Of course. Yeah. I am going to run up behind my compatriots here and again just repeat stop fighting him we can ask him we can ask him questions now ariana is going to hold until agrios and adrasto step down <laughs> adrastos so I can't believe I'm doing this. It goes against everything I want as a player. I would like to impose a wisdom check on myself to see if I can control myself. Because I'm sounds good. I am the most yeah, okay. Um Igros can, cast suggestion again. <laughs> you can decide what that DC is. Should have used my sorcery points. God damn it. Yeah. Damn it. Two people. <laughs> um so my wisdom save is a 13. You can decide that or not. That would fail. Okay. That would fail. Then um, what Adrasus is going to try to do, because he's he gets it, but he's still angry, is he is going to attempt, listening to what that guy just said, learn about my enemies and how they fight? Fine. Drops his weapons, grabs the spear, and tries to kick him in the chest and pull it out of his hands. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Can I attempt to grab Adrastos? <laughs> well, I, I assume it's always possible. I'll attempt to. Whether it's before or after so, he grabs the spear, whatever. But I'm gonna try. Well, let's let's do that first, so that then I can do my re <clears throat> my response. Okay. So am I getting grabbed first, or is the spear getting grabbed first? Uh, she's trying to grab you first. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna channel divinity so that I have advantage on this. Is it? It's athletics for grappling, right? Yep. Uh, and the Drasto, she can reply with athletics or uh, acrobatics. Yeah, that's a dirty 20. All right, you got me. Huzzah! 
I, knowing Adrastos, I see him drop the thing and she drops hers and just tackles him to the ground. <laughs> Adrastos, stop. Okay, since I have an interrupted action, can I change my action? Yeah, that's a tough one because okay. that's kind of like interrupting a spell. You were already all right. On yeah, it, no, so. that that's fine. I'll action surge then. Bring it. Okay. And I'm gonna headbutt Ariana right in <laughs> right in her nose. <laughs> okay. Do it. Do it. Use your anger. Become more powerful. Jeez. Um, hold on. Uh, well, twenty-five. Uh, that'll do her. Oh, All I'm right. still holding on. <laughs> so that is um, five bludgeoning damage. Just crack Beautiful. right in your nose to try and make you loosen your grip. Uh, do I have to roll to do anything? I'm not about trying that? to break the grapple. I'm just headbutting you. Okay. I mean, I, I could athletic check to try to get out, but because it's an interrupted action, that's just a. Yeah. <laughs> um I, I, but she's going to yell out, let me go, Ariana! He knows where Erebus is! Let me go now! Uh she's gonna headbutt him back. So I'm gonna burn both of your actions because you're kind of <laughs> going back and forth. Oh, no, absolutely. Order, so. okay. Go to agree. Just FYI. So yeah. Oh sorry, I, I didn't realize we were still technically in combat. Take you know, yeah. go ahead. Oh yeah, we when are. it comes back to my turn. <laughs> oh, so as you two are rolling on the ground wrestling, Orcos is going to look down and go, <clears throat> you're supposed to be fighting me. And uh, Agrios, you're up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Agrios will yell that and uh come after Z pointed out I should not have been able to uh, cast Guiding Bolt and Spiritual Weapon on the same turn. My bad. No problem. It, it hasn't made that much of a difference. <clears throat> yep, I got that. I got that question. <laughs> I, I told you, he's happened. my player's handbook, man. Yeah, Agrius just having fun at the moment. He's going to uh, draw. Let's see, would he attack or would he? He's good. Mm. No, yeah, he's going to draw his battle axe. Okay. Uh, his, brand, his brand new battle axe and go uh, charging into battle against this guy up close and personal, laughing all the way, while his spiritual weapon is on the other side. Well, as you come charging in, I tried, Tikaros. He tried. is going to take his second spear, so the one that he kind of holds on his offhand, bring it up, point towards you, And that is going to be a dirty 20. That'll okay. hit. Okay. In my defense, I was trying to disarm him so the fight would end. <laughs> oh, no. Totally fair. I totally... <laughs> uh, Krista gets that. Now, you said you had axe up. Does that mean shields up in front of you or shields on the side? Shield on the side. Okay. You are going to catch the butt of his spear. Square in your chest. So like a joust, it's just going to catch in a... That is going to be 15 force damage. Oh, my God, right down, I used a superiority die. <laughs> and, and he's going to take and... Kind of shove that to the ground and are you wearing a halter or anything any kind of a harness or anything halter or harness i mean i'm not a horse any kind of armor chest armor or anything chest armor yeah a horse could be a bridle i don't care not a horse centaur 
It's okay, you're half horse. Didn't you're realize this was that kind of show. Okay. <laughs> anyway, whatever you've got for garment on the front, he's going to kind of wedge it up under there and then let go of the spear. And you are about five feet away from him, so you're within melee range. So it's up to you if you want to proceed with your attack. Of course. Of course I want to proceed. I'm Agrios. Who do you think you're talking to? I don't think about these things. I don't get scared. Uh, but I do miss terribly. Uh, <laughs> however, we'll see if my spiritual weapon misses terribly. OK. Uh, OK, we're going to find out. What does A17 hit? Uh, that's a hit, absolutely. Uh-huh, OK. With that hit, the suggestion spell has ended. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, that is, it's, it's seven force damage. Okay. But well, to be honest, he had, to succeed, take her <laughs> he had fulfilled your suggestion already, so. <laughs> yeah, she was going to milk it for all it was worth, so. <laughs> All right, and I believe that brings us back to uh, Orcus. Seeing the two are downed on the ground, he's going to uh, look back at Tikaros and go, ah. and you're going to hear inside your head, I don't like it when people try to get inside my head. And uh, you're going to have a spear come flying at you. Woo. And that is a 24. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that'll get me. Okay, that's 10 bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Oof, Tikara screams. The sword is going to bounce off you. And... Uh, it's kind of hard to know with Ariana and Adrastos who's going to be the easiest target. So uh, I'll let you pick. Who's, who's the closer target? All right. That's a 16 to hit. That'll do her. Seven bludgeoning. Okay. And that's a 10 to hit, which I don't think hits Adrastos. Sure doesn't. <laughs> so it, it's actually going to, it's going to hit Ariana, flip over like it was going to hit a Drastos, but hit the dirt, and then come back to his hand. And Tikaros. Um, oh, geez. That hurt. All right. Reeling from that and realizing, yeah, my suggestions are over, I'm going to take my movement first, and I'm going to run to get some cover. 25. So I'm going to run behind this wall. And then what I will do is. Oh man, I'm conflicted. I'm going to hold my action. I'm going to hold a firebolt and I'm going to release okay. it if he tries to attack me again. Okay. And so I guess that brings us to Adrastos. I would like who to is still down on the ground, wrestling with Ariana. I would like to break the grapple, if I can. Which you do by just using your movement, correct? I have to use an. It's an opposed athletics check, I think. Breaking oh. a grapple is still an opposed athletics check. Okay. I believe I still have advantage. <laughs> yeah. That's like an eight. <laughs> okay, 19. <laughs> Yeah. She gets distracted by seeing Tikaros hurt and is concerned and gets tossed off. All right. So I'm on the ground. You are on the ground, and it was your action to break the grapple. So if you have another action after that, you can take it. I have a bonus action, but I want to ask your... 
I want to ask your opinion on something. So, because I'm on the ground, my movement is halved. My speed is 35. Can I move four squares or only three? Okay, repeat that. I missed. So my missed speed is 35. Mm -hmm. Half of that is 15 and a half. I cannot move a half <laughs> square. So can I move Round 20 up. feet or 15? Round up. Round okay. Up. Um, so what I am going to do is also kind of distracted, is I am going to um see um i'm trying to figure out how to do this without making it worse um okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stand up i will run to here let me see so 5 10 15 20 okay this is good because this still gives cover and then i'm going to use my movement or my bonus action with um, but wait you've moved out of melee range yes i'll take that attack of opportunity that's fine <laughs> okay uh so that is a 24 to hit. That'll hit as he kicks at you okay so it's going to be a whopping four points damage, but all right. Think of it as you're trying, as you're getting up and moving away, he kicks you in the butt. You know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, go and ahead. I'll, I'll even use the butt kick to motivate me the last five feet, and then I will use my bonus action to bait and switch um, with Tikaros. So from here, so Tikaros, you and I will swap places. So you you'll still be like up, but I'm doing it in such a way that I like kind of like tackle down and put my shield up. So even though you are technically not in cover, your AC is going to increase. Ooh, very nice. So your AC will go up by six. Oh my word. <laughs> and so it's, I see that happen and just, take her us! Just push Ariana off, run, 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 <laughs> shield up, bait and switch. In Ariana. <laughs> that is only until my next turn, just for GP. Uh, how hurt does Tikaros look? Oh, she's behind uh, a wall, so. Yeah, you. Not anymore. She and I switched places. Not. Ah. So she's where I was, and I'm where she was. Okay. Because that's how bait and switch has to work. Okay, so she's she's not, you know, on death's door, but she's a little bloodied if you were stealing a glance at her. Okay. Uh, I think she's all right for now. So is everybody on the right places on the map? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just trying to just track where everything's at. Cool. Cool. Oh, I don't know. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> and as I've stated, if you don't do this, your character actually said it, at which point I... Arcos is going to go, um, maybe later, right now we're in a fight. Uh, uh... <laughs> she... <laughs> and she's going to run <laughs> and <laughs> She's gonna run and uh she's gonna disengage and uh move to grab Tikaros and start towards the red line to get her out. Okay. Excellent. Uh so that'll put me if I can if I can grab her at a run. <laughs> Scoop! Scooped. I scooped ya. I'll bring her with me, but unless she resists, I'm saying it. You can do it. So yeah, are you good, Tigros? You, you're welcome yeah. to resist. I won't be mad. <laughs> I think she wouldn't resist, but she'll 
say in your head, but Ariana, we can't leave them. She would come with you though, but she would just be, you know, conflicted. Yeah. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and move They've... your token down there, Tikaris. Right, cool. They've chosen be. their battle. I don't think he'll kill them, but best we not give him an opportunity to have any wounds that won't heal up well. So, Agrios, you find as you attempt to make any movement that this spear that is up in your harness, you're actually grappled. The spear won't move. Well, I may, be, I may be grappled, but I still attack. Yeah. Uh, also, you know who would have been cool with some healing? <laughs> the guy who's <laughs> right now. I think Ariana's uh, mad at us. <laughs> that's fair. Something, something you made your bed, something, something you'll have to lie in it. <laughs> that's very fair. No, that's completely fair. Uh, so Agrios uh, actually, near the end of his hit points, is just going to go into complete friendly mode, tosses his shield aside, two hands the battle axe. Even the spiritual weapon uh, actually vanishes in a puff of red smoke as he just wow. uh, starts slashing at this guy with both hands. Um, first attack roll. That is going to be a 22 to hit. That's a hit. And that will be nine slashing damage. And then he's going to use okay. War Priest to attack as his bonus action. Okay. That, however, is only going to be 14 to hit. That's not going to do it. So yeah, he's just he's just uh, kind of losing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you catch one on him, and you do the other one, and he just kind of. Um, whoa, whoa! You okay there, big fella? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Well, I just want you to know. This is going to hurt you worse than it does me. And he's going to use his spear as a staff, basically, and thwack you with it. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> yep. So that's a 12, which is a miss, 12. I believe. Yes. You my shield. Okay. 30, 20. That'll hit. And uh, 22. Damage? No, no, 22 to hit. Oh, sorry, okay. Sorry, I, I, haven't rolled I haven't rolled damage yet. <laughs> I was concerned for a second. Yeah, the other two lost hit, yes. Yeah, if it was 22 damage, I think he'd really be out of it. So, no, no, nothing. Nothing quite oh, that yeah. bad. That is going to be 10 bludgeoning. Oh yeah, he, he, he goes down. Splack. And Bump. at which point, Orcos is going to look down. Ah, oh, damn it. And he will put his hand on you. And you are stabilized. Okay. And he's going to look up and see where everybody else is and go, I'm sorry, your friend's down. Do we continue or? Is he alive? Yeah. Then we continue. So far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and with that, 
Orcos is going to jump over the fire camp pit and move into melee range. Ah! Aura is going to sneak in and pull <laughs> Agrius out of the ring <laughs> if possible. Almost like a Vanna, like round two, like as you, oh, as, you, out. as you cross <laughs> as you cross the line, you're going to hear Orko yell out, "You're cheating!" But he continues running towards the Drastos. I wasn't in this fight, <laughs> and I will remove Agrius from the circle. All right, so Tikaros, you are being hauled out by Ariana, but you're up. All right, I'm just going to uh, spend my whole turn just talking into directly, Ariana, directly into your head. And this is the first time it's happened to you, I think. The first time she's done it to you, she's just babbling. She's going, oh, I can't believe it. I tried this new magical trick and it worked. And then they just stuffed it up. And Ariana, I love that tackle you did. That was amazing on Adrastos. And do you know what else? I woke up this morning at the, no, not this morning, the other morning, and I could suddenly talk in people's heads. And that's probably, that's probably it. <laughs> Just kind of staring at you as she's holding you. That's it. Whole turn. Awesome. Adrastos. All right. Uh, Adrastos is going to faint. And attack. Yeah, I know. It's like, a, is that F A I N T or F A I N T? No, no, what do you mean? Just, uh, yeah. Um, 18? That's a hit. Excellent. I wasn't sure. Whoo, 18. <laughs> All right. Wow. Oh, <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, that's that's what I got. <laughs> okay. I, I use my action surge headbutting my friends. So <laughs> as you, so do. you you hit him and you can see where it hits on the armor and it kind of knocks him back a little bit. Ariana. Uh, I'm going to deposit Tikaros um, out just outside, which I believe puts her out. Yes. Yep. Um, and then. Da -da 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 uh. Yeah, I'm going to um, I guess I'll be a little shy of getting to how far has uh has uh, Vara managed to get Agrios? Uh whatever her movement is. Oh, she fair, can get okay. in and do that. So two times. Two times. Oh, she's going the other direction then. Happened, so. yeah. Uh Okay. Uh, oh, bugger. Yeah, okay. Yep. She's going to run back in and take an attack. <laughs> All right. I guess. Um, she's actually, gonna, yeah, she's gonna yeah. As you've, you've moved up onto him. Let's see. Which... <laughs> Do, 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 do. Sorry, I gotta I gotta pick between things here. You know, it's no. It's... When Chris what a burden gets you the go gutter, it doesn't us, leave. Tam. So, uh, first off, does a twenty four hit? It sure does. <laughs> okay, um, that will be ten force damage, as he ten? takes his spear and gets you right under the chin with it. Fantastic uh cool 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 um yeah she's gonna come up and throw a hit 
see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, uh, does a 16 hit? Yes, it does. Hooray! In that case, she's going to Divine Smite. Uh, since apparently <laughs> this is the only hit she's going to get. Uh, and that's two D8s. One, two. Oh, that's a D10. Oh. I mean, I'd love to roll a D10, but that's not going to do it. Uh, oh, there's a D8. Perfect. Uh, plus two. Oh, uh, 12, 16. Oh, yeah. Do you want them broken down into radiant versus? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, six... that could be handy. Okay. Uh, six bludgeoning with her dulled sword. Okay. And then, um, I've forgotten what this is. Uh, just 2d8. Okay. And then 12 radiant damage. Okay. And Which you definitely catch. You catch him by the helmet, and it definitely wrenches his head around. So, definitely got a good hit on it. Aha! Oh, and then I'm going to second wind because I do have that as a fighter, and that's a bonus action. All right. Uh, awesome. Uh, D10 healing. It's a one plus one. I'll take <laughs> two healing back. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Sorry. That's my turn. All right. Uh, since Agrios has now been dragged out of the circle, I believe. Yep. Oh. Which I'm, I'm going to say, Vara must be very strong to drag a whole ass centaur. <laughs> well, Horses be real feet. heavy, guys. It is, it is uh, sandy. Uh, He's and, also and down carrying here. 150 feet of or er, 150 pounds of equipment. No, I think we've learned that Vara is the true fighter tank. Like it's not oh, me, <laughs> it's Vara. Okay. Well, in that case, in that case, she's dragged you 10 feet. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm very slowly dragging. I mean, she has some strength. Um, she worked on a ship. You have to, you have to have a little bit of strength yeah. to you. Yeah. Got a little muscle, but yeah, she is very much struggling. I, I guess she might at some point just kind of give up. <laughs> and um just sit by you and make Aww. sure you don't get caught in the fray yeah actually i think i would have to back i would have to back up anyway because uh he left his other spear there so you cannot unentangle agrios from that spear that spear will not move mm -hmm. oh. oh neat he's basically dangling from it <laughs> oh. yeah so i'm just gonna sit protectively by him Sorry about that. I should remember that he was still speared, or that is, not that speared, is okay. but grappled. So. Oh, well, you guys are so close. I guess I'm going to have to use my uh, spear as a uh, thump weapon again. Oh, no. So, uh, Adrastos, that's a 22. Mm-hmm. Second hit is a 21. Mm -hmm. And Ariana, that's a 22. You're muted. <laughs> I think she's cussing at me. <laughs> no, I'm cussing at myself because I'm stupid. I was trying to say, can I, can I use protection fighter um, on that first attack to make you reroll? And therefore, it becomes a 16. That will miss. Yes. All right. She Good throws job. a shield up. <laughs> Which knocks right. my shield so, up. What? <laughs> so that first one is going to be seven force. OK. And Ariana, that that is going to be five. She is down. Don't worry, Ari, I got and this. He's going to look. At a Drastos and go. That's two down. Continue. I stood on the bodies of 30 of my kinsmen. I will take you as well. Ah, as you wish.
but he is going to she's lucky. put a foot over. Almost like he's kicking Ariana, but he's just going to touch her with it. You're stabilized. Adrastos, you're up. It's, it's right. just us now. <laughs> uh, okay, last fainting attack. Uh, 21. So I assume that if an 18 hits, a 21 does. Yes, it does. Oh, I'm sorry. I was nodding, that. but I forgot my camera's not working, so you can't no, tell if I'm nodding. That so. is okay. That is 17 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. All and right. that's that's what I got. And he's just got he's gonna wipe the blood off of his mouth and onto his armor. And as he wipes it onto your armor, you see as the armor kind of goes and slurps it up. That was good. That was good. Whoops, I just dropped my dice. I'll Let's do that. try this again. So once again, thumpity thump thump with the uh, spear. That is going thumpity to be thump, 18. Thump, frosty go. That's a hit. 17. Uh, meets beats, so that's a hit. Okay. And we'll come back to the last one in a moment. <laughs> I just realized he is neither aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead, correct? Correct. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> just I was like, otherwise, dude. he should have disadvantage this whole time. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> um, so that is eight force from the first. Six force from the second. Okay, that is a total of 14 so far. And on the last one, uh, I knew this was going to come back to bite me in the ass. He he goes to hit you with it, and you could you swear you saw the spear bend, actually bend in a circle. And stab him in the back. At which points he's gonna, mm. and he's just gonna kind of look at the spear. We will talk about this. And you're up. My allies appear to be more loyal than yours, warrior. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a swing. Uh, 20. 30. That's a hit. Or 13 damage. All right. That's, that's it. All right. I am a fighter. Again, what I do is fight. <laughs> you, you can see places where wounds have happened on his body, but there is no blood. Well, Adrastos looks messed up right now, just like <laughs> <laughs> still in it, but messed he's up. Gonna, he's gonna take his spear, put it back over his shoulder, both hands, and go. Are you sure? You can stop. You have answers I need. I think you've earned a few. Just submit. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Adrastos <laughs> will drop his weapons and take a knee. Some things are more important than honor. What was the orphan's name? And 
Orcos is going to lay down his spear. He's going to take a knee opposite than you, put his arm around you, and pull your head in. What was your question again? I'm going what to make sure I answer correctly. What was the orphan's name? His name that was given to me was Tiaz. He was taken to Satessa. And he was to be handed over to Serenity, wife of Tavi. Thank you. And I'm going to scoop up Ariana and carry her out of the circle. He will help if you'll let him. Yeah. And actually, the circle, the circle disappears, and he says, to the campfire. But Farah is still dragging Agrius. <laughs> <laughs> he, he will come over, grab his spear, and just pick it up and take it out. And he will walk over to one of the ruins nearby and come back with a small backpack type bag. And he'll set it down and he'll reach in and he'll pull out four vials and hand them to you. Drink have, it. It's good for you. I have another question, warrior, if I am allowed. One moment. Drink. Can I get one of those for Ariana? I call. Yeah, there's the other kneeling. The vials everybody. are handed out to for everybody. Okay, so. good. Yeah. I go over to Ariana and just administer. I will drink the potion. And <laughs> I'll I'm sorry. Agrios. I'm just what drinking the potion. Us? Okay. And he drank some too. And you find yourself feeling refreshed. And any wounds you have are gone. Cool. Is it fully healed? Fully healed. Fully healed. Amazing. Ooh. He is going to take out a pouch. And he, he thinks for a minute and... Nine hits. You've asked one question. And he drops eight coins out on the ground. Each coin is a gift. You may trade it for an answer. I will look to the group. I only have one more. The rest are yours. I know I have went against your wishes, Tikros, but please. That's okay. You were just being you. I expect nothing less. I will take one of the coins and I will hand it to him. When last you saw him, where was the Minotaur Crassus one horn headed? When last I saw him, he was headed toward the mire. Then I will sit back and leave it to my party. I leave seven coins. Ariana will scoop them up and hand them to Vara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I don't particularly have a use of these. Perhaps he's been around for a while. Perhaps he knows some of the answers you in particular have been looking for. The bigger questions. The bigger questions. Yes, not about me. Excellent. Um, I mean, feel free if you have some questions about yourself, but Oh, yes. no, I know. Absolutely not. I don't. Um, there are things I probably could question, but I would rather be ignorant. Um, let's see. Um, do you know of anyone associated with fingerprints? Yes. Practically every living being. Yeah, oh, okay. well, beyond that, that. And one of the coins vanishes. 
Oh, that was rude. Apparently we need to be more specific. <laughs> you can have mine, Vara. I was just fighting the fight. Go um, by gin rules. All right, fine. <laughs> um, do we still have an orb? We don't, right? Or does does Tolly still have the one that he recovered or saw? No. no. Okay. Any orbs have uh, been uh, um, devastatingly destructive. Great. Um, I will go ahead and draw it in the sand. As to the best of my ability, I'll, I'll take like a little stick that I see next to the campfire, um, and I'll draw a circle with that fingerprint incision um, insignia, and I will toss another coin at him. And do you recognize an orb like this having been used for destruction in the past, specifically an orb with a fingerprint on it? That is capable of things and such as smog clouds and explosions. He will kneel down and look at it and actually examine it very carefully. No. All right. So that's six coins left? Wait, yep. no, we had eight. If, if he's familiar with the gods somewhat personally, Perhaps he's familiar with the true creator? Oh, yes. Um, who is the true creator? What can you tell us about? Hmm. Well, all of the gods were born of the Nyx. Mm -hmm. The Nyx chose to create them. He created the Titans. He created the destroyers of the Titans, and he created the gods. So I assume the Nyx is the creator. Right, well, that makes sense. That's about what we presumed. Five coins remaining. Are you sure you wish to, wish to spend them on questions? What else could they be spent on? Ah, oh, that's not a, no, hold on. Don't spend a coin on that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ask the question. <laughs> yeah. I do kind of want to know what they could be spent on. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess that might Even be Even if they cost a coin, yeah. Sure. What else could they be spent for? And the coin disappears and he says, if one of your comrades falls in battle, or yourself, you need only touch the coin. You will be revived at minimum health, but it'll give you a fighting chance. Oh, well, shit. Shit, That's you amazing. should have told us that. Var <laughs> quickly shoves them into a, like one of her many coin purses she has. No more I did, when no you more asked. <laughs> no more questions. So we have four. Great. So technically what they do is... If there is someone down, doesn't matter who it is, I'm letting you know this, and you touch them with that coin, they get five health. They're brought back to five health. Eric. Nice. That's awesome. Very awesome. Down but not dead, right? I'm sorry? Down but not dead, right? Down but not dead, yeah. Okay. Dead, not, dead's, not a, a dead's a slight... Slightly bigger problem. You need a walnut about this big, and it has to be coated with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just for mostly dead. Well, yeah, you know. mostly dead. <laughs> You're in Theros. I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Liar! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> but Proud we're hot it. nerds. Exactly. Capital H, capital T. <laughs> Don't even think. <laughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> it was good to meet all of you. I hope that one day our path will cross again. Oh, um, 
One last thing. Uh, does asking you any question warrant a coin? What if I'm just asking you a normal question that, that shouldn't cost anything? It depends on how you define normal. Just like pleasant conversation, like, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Um, do you, uh, do you accept any different kinds of coins? Hmm. So we could perhaps still ask some questions, but keep these. Hmm. What's the exchange rate? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe next time we meet. All right. And with that, he takes the cover off of his spear. And picks up his pack. And says, you'll be safe and comfortable by this fire this evening. Continue on your journey tomorrow. Excellent. And he walks off. Did I get his name right? Orcos Parmenian Pylenor? Yes. Nice. Get that up, you later. It means <laughs> well done. If it, do you want to know what it means? I will be glad to tell you. But... I would like to know what it means. Yeah. Will it cost us a coin? Orcos. Orcos <laughs> is oath. Yeah. Parmenian is persevering. He who is a constant presence. Tylenor is the man at the gate, the gatekeeper. Cool. Neat. Yeah, Orcos is gone. You guys, we meet the coolest people. We do. <laughs> we do. Ariana is sort of standing, watching him go somewhat skeptically, and then when he's out of sight, goes, that would have been a fun night. And walks off and sits at the fire. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Desperately well wanted to well take played. one of the coins and ask, what are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> what else did that spear do? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, it seems like everyone had fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Not as much as Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume, are you going to rest the evening? Yes. Yeah. Can Vara go hunt? Sure. Go Use your some, evening to do what you wish. Get some food for everybody. Like, <laughs> all right, all well, right. <laughs> now that you've all worn yourselves out, I'm going to go. Um, try to get us some food. Um, you don't, you don't have to do this. This, this can be a button, and we can deal with it next time. But Adrasos is going to go up to Agrios, and he's going to say, "You've heard the name Crassus before." Perhaps. You'll have to tell me about that. It's a long story. It's a long way to where we're going. What if I make you fight me for answers? Like orcos. He smiles and says, I fought for answers once tonight. No reason not to do it again. <laughs> I'll tell, not I'll also share you. my story with you if you share your story with me. Not all of my story is worth telling.
Well, I would like to know how you are involved with Crassus, and I'll tell you how I'm involved with Crassus. Hopefully those two stories will meet somewhere in the middle. Perhaps they will. At Crassus of the Sun Claw. I will be honest with you. I didn't exactly hear what you said. It kind of crackled there. <laughs> oh, no. He just said per perhaps they will address this if it's done. Well, it wasn't anything. Okay. So, um, so I'll just drop a, uh, just a paw with a little bit more force than is probably necessary on Agrius' shoulder <laughs> and give him a smile and sit next to him by the fire, but in such a way that it's like, well, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk. <laughs>